is a whole ass panda. It's a Christmas miracle. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Why you giving niggas gifts? <laughs> Why are you giving niggas gifts, bro? Why? Uh, they need sometimes this this one's more for y'all. This one's more for y'all. Since we're doing Jenna, I know what you look like. I'm <laughs> no, being nah. <laughs> look, Molly says, where's the panda? <laughs> in another <laughs> castle. With a right, jumbo. He lost a jump busy. Hold on, hold on, what update. So, um, the cheese and the bingos are playing right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll soon who to the Eagles at the Super Bowl. Oh, oh man. Oh. 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 Now, yeah, I, I the, Eagle the Eagles winning this week. No matter who they play. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. no play. We read. Oh, I know it's gonna be lit. I, I I don't know. I just feel like I want to watch them versus the Bengals. Fly Eagles, fly, money said. Fly Eagles, fly. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Like, well, at least Abbott and Electric will be lit the next couple of weeks. I, I low key, maybe high key, want to see a Bengals Eagles rather than a Chiefs Eagles. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Next time on Dragon well, Ball Z. Today on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> we got D&D &D going. Hey. Do a quick recap. The reason why I don't have the panda today is because I need certain individuals to see my expressions with some as of the things. As you try to murder us? Hey. <laughs> as you try to murder us? I don't no 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 no. I do not attempt to murder. Now, if you happen to walk into the power hungry mobs and masses, that is not my my fault. It's not. You say so, sir. No. So, um, to do a quick recap, just gonna get everybody back where we were. Yeah, because it's gonna be uh, a month of Sundays. A but literally a month of Sundays. <laughs> and go we'll have a Right, he is still alive. He has not died yet. So, <laughs> hey. <Alive>. yes. <laughs> <She's Yeah. saying. laughs> so you all had just trans transported yourselves down the portal, right, uh, from your plane of existence out into who knows where, trying to get away from the basically the fire surface. This is where y'all ended up. To give you an idea. The room that you all ended up in. Oh, I've been there. I've been there. Let me just, just get into uh, the fucking. Exactly. They just exactly. now get me, but I've been there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Or should I say, Silk? That's right. Locked himself in a room. I did. Up here at the top. Yeah. As mm -hmm. everyone else transport transported through the portal. It's I heard them coming, and I was like, oh, here come these niggas now. Let me get away. 
and he walked off. Who knows why? He is definitely the Soro. Getting lost for no reason. Thank That's you. What I do. That's what I do. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. You were correct. You were absolutely correct. Uh, so he tried to analyze the magic circle on the floor. It did not work. It did not work for me. He then saw everyone come through and decided to close the door that automatically locks behind himself. Because F the Duke, he said. <laughs> <laughs> so we we arrive we come back in where everybody we have Silk, we have Jen Will, we have Diesel and this random Warforge on the clock dials deciding what to do or where they're going to go oh Monty said did you get a Teddy I didn't oh, know you was yeah. rocking a list like that bro but more power to you. I did. I did. I ain't open it though because I figured you didn't hear what I, said. <laughs> I did not. I, I heard you saying something, but I didn't know what you said. I said, I didn't know you rocked the lace like that. But to each his own. You stupid. <laughs> so uh you all you all did land here. Diesel. And said he, he knew where you guys were in general. He knew this room. He had been through this room before. It was basically a teleportation into the land of Yugpa. Um, and he knew how to get you all out. Okay. So he was heading towards the little green circle there. Uh, it's a, a, it's a transport ruin to the out, outside of the building. And what all would, was it? Well, let's put it this way. Day playing Jin was not there last time we played. He happened to be away, unfortunately. Um, I will give him the opportunity. Do you want to see if Silk is here? Knowing that he came before you all to get here. Uh, I can guess. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have left. <laughs> How would you like to do that? And I got you right here in just a minute. All right, okay, yeah. No, I'm looking on my app. <laughs> okay. We're all over here. What you rolling to see if I'm so I can hear, Hey, just so you know, I hear somebody's background. Yeah, I hear it too. I don't hear anything. It's probably your bedroom. It's probably you. All right, hold on. Let me come back out, come back in. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, while you doing that, today is brought to you by Zorro. Since Monty said I'm about to get lost like Zorro. No, today is about the next Super Bowl champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, nah, nigga, fuck, they ain't got nothing to do with my drip. We drinking Mackinson. That's what color is, what, what, what's color Zorro hair? Huh? What color oh, no, we wearing it. It's green. It's green. Okay. It's some fly purple. Fly. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> it's, it's some fly. Purple. Eagles. I'm going to like an eagle. All right, Rod, you there? All right. It wouldn't be as no technical difficulties. It would, not. it would not be. That sucks. Mm. All right. It's part of it. Okay, so now what we're doing, I'm trying to see if we can help you. I mean, yeah, still um, yeah, you're trying. Just, are you like how you want to? How do you want to see? You look around the room. He's definitely not there. I'm not in the room. Know your friend. Don't you, know, you ever disrespect me? Like he's probably not gonna be the one to decipher how to get out of this room if it's by magical means. Because yeah, you know your friend. Yeah, I don't do magic, bro. I do assassination shit. So, I mean, I do, I do some magic, but only lightning shit. So how do you want to try to search for him in this in this little area here? Hold on. 
Get a good look. So we just came right. <laughs> Drop down, landed on top of this uh, this clock like dice. Where's my computer doing this? What's this? A, what's this? A portal right now next to us? Uh, the which part? The green part? Green, yeah. Portal, way out. Yep. Diesel told y'all he's like, hey, yo, this is the, gonna be the way out. We, you know, what I'm saying whenever you're ready. Um, right, right. You ready. Course. And I'm gonna show you that here in just a moment. You see them? Right here and right here. Can you all see that? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So um, right here, right here are doors. Uh, if you'd like, you can give me a perception check just in general so you can see what all other than that you see in the room. All right. All right. Let's see if I run my Okay, perception. Okay. Don't laugh at me. I forget how to roll. <laughs> uh, you will just click on the, uh, the words skills the and go to perception and hit it. Yep. You say you forgot how to roll? Yeah. Oh, we playing CeeLo next time I see you. Uh, six. Uh, wait, how do you, you wait? How do you roll again? I forgot too. In the Pick app, the you go number. to skills and scroll down. Yep. Until you see what you got rolling, hit the on where it said plus the number at skills. Got it. Oh wait, intimidation investigation. Oh, perception. Okay. So, yep. Are all of us doing a perception check? No, just them two are going to do it for right now. Everybody, you pretty much know the room and how it works. Um, so you know those two doors are there. You know roughly what's on the other side, even though you've never been into them. All right. Yeah, I wrote it. Wait, it's not rolling. Where's the roll? Okay. Tap the, um, the number. We say plus like the number. Monster. Oh, okay. Yeah, for you, plus five. Wait, intelligence, dexterity. Oh, proficiency. Is that what I'm supposed to roll? Perception. Up uh, from nature. Above from us. Perception. Just say plus five next to the word perception. No, I got plus four perception. Okay. Wait, am I? No, am I looking at the wrong character again? Oh, shit. Yes, that's him. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Hold on. Look, it's a red claw bear. Yeah, damn it. I'm looking at the wrong damn oh, character. That's cool. Hold on. Let me pull it up on big screen. Go back. That's what's up. Is that Harry Potter? Yeah. Nice. Ravenclaw. Uh, Ravenclaw. That's what's up. That's what's up. Big okay. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. <laughs> All right. I got a. I rolled a 16. 16. Okay. And uh, Jay? Six. Six. Okay. So Jay, you're like, this fool runs off Appreciate it, Monty. every chance he gets. I'm over it. Let's just go. I looked. He wasn't there. Screw it. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll find him eventually, right? He'll be back. <laughs> Jen, a little more concerned for the group and party dynamic and things of that nature. He's like, okay, well, hold up. We got, wait a minute. There's two doors here. He probably didn't go out the magical port, so he's probably behind one of these two doors. Okay, uh, with the 16, you also notice that you start hearing a, a clicking every 10 seconds or so. Okay, and it sounds like it's resounding from different areas. Um, as you kind of try to pinpoint, just kind of sit and listen and pinpoint it, you notice it's coming from the doors. It sounds like locks on the doors, or either locking or unlocking, you don't know which, in a rotation of some sort. Okay. Um, so you're you're welcome to try to test one of the two doors um, at your leisure. I will tell you that you probably hit. You can catch there are four clicks, and then a pause, and then there are four clicks and a pause. Four clicks and a pause. Okay. Um, with those, you can kind of time out because you did roll a sixteen. I would say you can time out that you hear 
the one here mm -hmm. is the third click. The one here is the first click you hear. And then you hear two others randomly somewhere out in the abyss out this way. So if you want, you can kind of time it and see if you can pop a door. Or you can be like, follow their lead and say, screw it and keep it pushing. Uh, let's keep it pushing. I don't we are in enough separation anxiety for one for one campaign. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, yeah, so, separation anxiety. Other than that, well, with that being the case, then everybody, Diesel says, All right, well, let's go. And he he heads you all to the to the portal. Um does anybody read? Let's see here. Screw it. I can shine up. Let me make sure why be okay. Oh, you good. Does anybody read Druidic? Mm, I don't think so. I, I, yeah, I don't think I do. Let me check real quick. Let me use. Oh, I do. Read what? You read what? I do. Druidic. Yeah. I think okay. somebody like can read all of those things. I think so. I can yeah, but that's like a a uh, uh, a spell if they do have it, it's like a spell. Yeah, I can only do um common, draconic, primordial, and thief shit. I got common, elvish, and thief shit. Okay. okay, so Diesel, being that he is he has his abilities, he can kind of he can read druidic. Uh, it, it literally it just reads exit over the door. <laughs> um, oh wow, yeah, it just says exit over the, over the green portal, it says exit, but it's in druidic so. That's the other reason why <laughs> uh, so could not understand what he was doing. Um, now, the other thing I will say you notice uh, is open the two doors that you see. One is in... Let's see here. One was in... Who can read? Uh, can anybody read Draconic? Oh, what is yeah. who can read? Okay. Jay can. You read okay, yeah. but you rolled a six, so you were just like, "Screw it, it doesn't matter. It is what it is." Uh, don't you read, you read primordial, right? I do. <laughs> you do as well, Rob. Yeah. Do you read primordial? Um, I don't know. Let me check. I don't think so. Go to abilities. Go to uh, skills. I mean, not skills. I said skills. Abilities. Where is that? I just had it. Oh, um, proficiencies in languages. Yeah, proficiencies in languages. Yeah. I was having a blind moment. Don't judge me, y'all. Um, I don't see anything. Hold on. Let me clear this out. Oh, no. Languages I have common, Parmorial, and Sylveon. Okay. So you notice that that third door, that one to the side over here, Above it in primordial says enter at your own risk. That's okay. He must so he must notice. be in there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. so there. Um you you get a you get when you step towards it, just walking like you're not even trying to go in it, right? But like as you walk towards the green teleportation circle on the floor, you get a sense that you're not strong enough to do anything with what's behind that door. And you just keep walking past it, but just so you know, that's kind of the vibe you get as you it's like an aura that that door gives as you walk. Uh, okay, uh, so just so you're aware of that, so you all you head out, uh, Diesel, you know, he he weaves a few things uh, with his hands, little incantations, and then you all disappear and you end up on the other side of uh, the portal now. Okay. What what were you doing? You you saw you didn't see any of this, but you did hear them in the other room as they appeared, as they were talking. What are you gonna try to do? Me? Yeah, yeah you stop yeah. playing the game. <laughs> what was the question? I thought you said something you about do. I mean, you're in the other room. You heard. You heard them. 
You saw that they were leaving. What do you, what do you, or what are you, or are you not going to do? Are you going to sit leave? here? Or... Did they leave? Time the doors. They were, they're on their way out. We leaving now. We left. Man, go on the door and let us know you're in there. I'm gonna wait till they leave, and then I'm gonna try to okay. get out. <laughs> oh, no. No All right. So, with that being the case, I need you to roll me uh, an investigation check. Okay. You got to retime these doors now. All right, let's get it. Investigation. Roll that motherfucker. Ooh, 26 on your ass. All right, 26. So, as you hear them leave, you wait for about a minute. You hear the clicks, click, 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 click. And then you remember roughly when yours was as well. And the timing, you click, pop the door, door opens up. Ah, I'm off that bitch. So now you're in a room by yourself. Yeah. And you have no clue how to get out of this room. Facts. I mean, I heard them niggas, though. It's that green shit say exit and shit. No, you don't know that. He knows that. You don't know that. He knows that. He's the so, one that can read. How the hell I heard them click, click, clicking, but I couldn't hear what they were talking about. You heard the door clicking. That's because it's constant. You hear the locks clicking. He didn't oh. say anything out loud. Oh, I was I letting him know that's what it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, he didn't say it out loud. So how the no. hell they know? No, I said he knew. I was letting him know what that was. Oh, okay. I'm like, yeah. get good. No, no, he's the only one who can read. I will shoot. Fuck it, you're gonna figure it out. That green shit look mysterious. Let's go fuck with that shit. Right, here's the problem. You can't read Druidic. Yeah, I'm just, I I don't know it's the exit, but I'm just checking on it because it looked weird. Okay. Okay. So. You, you do go over there and you kind of look at it and you realize that it does have a magic aura about it. it do. But you, you can't read it. I can't. So you're pretty much stuck in this room until someone comes and gets you. Damn it. <laughs> I can't just like try to do some shit? No, no. no. You're being stupid. Oh. Oh. If I knew that, no I would You don't even have no magic yeah. type. You, huh? don't, you have no affinity you have no affinity for this magic type at all. I can't even try. No, you can. I mean, you can definitely try. You would have to roll like a thirty-five. A thirty-five? Is that even possible? It mm. is. It's not at your level. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, talk, I ain't talking about the future. I'm talking about now. Yeah, now, no, no, no. You can't do nothing right now, bro. You stuck in this room. And then if I do that, I would have let them niggas give me up. That, that was your fault. I thought I could Two take the shit. No, you know what I'm saying? I was okay with being stuck for a dumb it's amount of time. And so eventually, I could have figured it out. But now you're saying nope. never. Nope. Never nope. is not the same as it's not a never, it's just a very high difficulty. After your current skill set is not possible. Yeah, nigga, but if I don't get out the room, I can't build my level. Zoro. <laughs> Money <laughs> said <laughs> Zoro. Shit, fuck it. You know, it is what it is. It was fun. So, <laughs> so he's now there, and we go back to everybody else outside. Yay. Um, <laughs> So as you all come out, as you all you, you basically operate on the other side of the door, uh, you notice it is extremely not dark, but overcast. Think of like Seattle weather. You guys have been, you know what I'm saying, just constantly rain out like that cloud coverage. That's right. what it's like. Kind of like you got right. in the air. So we're outdoors right now? You're outdoors. You are okay. Outdoors. All right. Um, we're free. As you look around, Dusty, sandy, barren wasteland before you. It looks the the brown sand looks gray. Oh damn! The sunlight and the, the overcast of the cloud cover. Okay, it doesn't look like like light sunlight has touched this land in millennia. That's how gray it looks. Like everything looks like it's tone at this point, right? Uh, you turn around and you see what you see behind you. 
It looks like a Kaplan. Small, I think old school house, right? Like the simple one chimney with the bell on top schoolhouse, but it looks like a chapel. That's the building. Uh, Diesel's like, this is basically, you're, you're telling them this is what you just came out of, right? This is the building you just in. It looks way too small to be where you just were. Mm. For the rest of it. Okay. Diesel, like I said, you've been through here a couple different times because you know about the teleportation between the planes. So you know that's what that's what that building is. But yeah. Um, so you guys are outside. You are in. Yeah, but you do see a sign, like a, a bulletin board post right in front of not the door, but like right off the, the set of the door on the building. Uh, so just so you know, that's kind of, that's what you see in the general, you see wasteland, you see this bulletin board, you see the building. Um, what do you guys kind of want to do? Where do you want to go? What do you want to look at first? Uh, I feel like we should check out that bulletin board. Okay. Okay. So you walk up, um, I need to know. So again, who can read? Who can't? Celestial, primordial, or dwarvish? No, nope. they can do thieves can't, right? I got primordial. Yeah, got primordial. Can't. Okay, and then Rod has primordial. Do anybody have dwarvish? Not me. Okay, nobody has celestial either, right? Nope. Okay. So you do notice there are it looks like a job board, right? Um, you see two languages. Well, you see one language that nobody knows, right? Uh two of you read a note in primordial. Uh Diesel, you see one in Druidic, and Jay is the only one who can read Thieves Can't. You see one in Thieves Can't. Okay. And there are all these little tattered pieces of paper that look like they're inscribed uh, that only those who can see that language can see them. Everybody else sees a blank piece of paper. If you can't read it, it's a blank piece of paper to you. Wow. Right? Uh, but they are, they're different jobs. They're different jobs. And they look like relatively interesting situations have been going on. Okay? Okay. Uh, Anybody want to pull one or just just want to know what they were? I'll pull one. Oh wait, you're I'm not here. here. Shut up. I, that's what I just <laughs> said. Um, what I'm just gonna read my the one that's in Druidic. What does it say? Druidic? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you show that they are searching for a old merchant woman. Uh, who sells pets and familiars. This one looks like uh, they are trying to find her. She's been missing. As well as there's also a, in like parentheses at the bottom, a caveat that if you can find any missing people from the city, there will also be a generous reward with that. They feel that the two are linked. She's the most recent in the list, uh, string of disappearances. Okay. The, okay. This old lady who sells pets and familiars. She's missing. The most recent right, right. person is missing. Right. Okay. She's right. Did he recent. read that out loud? He yeah. He read that out loud. He was just like pointing. He's pointing out this one was in Druidic, and that's what he read. The one thing you notice though, it's What's not in yet. It's on a whole different plane. Oh shit! Damn. The the we, note we, came we, from a whole different plane, it. or we think these people are missing the in a different plane. The, the okay. location states it's from a different plane. Okay, I'll get you that I'm plane. Keep this for later because um, I, I want me a familiar. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna pull it for them, for you all. Yeah, I'll pull it. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So you all pull that one. We need we need something to replace on uh, silk after he's gone. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'll get you. I'll make sure you get a copy of that uh, for the actual sheets later once we're once we're off off screen. 
I'll get you a list, an actual listing of these as well. Um, for the primordial, you all see there's another one that's an escort for a foreign diplomat uh, for uh, a city. He doesn't want to die because you can't take magic or weapons in that city. And he's a he's a huge he's a huge caster. He's a magic person. You know what I'm saying? He's a wizard. And so he wants some protection, right? Without having to rely on his own abilities in this city. Problem is, this one is also on a completely different plane. It's on the car. Now, which one are you reading this one in Primordial? Jay or Jen? Mm, I'm good to Jen. Okay. So as you're reading this, Jen, you're just reading it out loud, right? So we can see what, it, what so everybody knows what it is. Diesel, you know Nakaro is the plane closest to what would be considered hell. Yeah, the plane hell. Of tieflings, demons, monstrous entities. And so you you've rarely seen anyone actually ask for assistance. You know what I mean? To go to this place. Um, the mm -hmm. fact also that they're saying they can't use magic or weapons there makes you leery that there's something else going on. Okay, so this diplomat is saying he can't use magic or weapons. As his escorts, could his escorts use magic and weapons? No, it's it's a, it's a breaking of the law to do it. So whatever you all do, if you all take that mission, you may have to find another way to protect him. Sure. No. Okay. No, okay. On the board there. You know what I'm saying? It's just on the board. Um, and then the other one that you saw was for Jay was in Thieves Camp. Um, mm -hmm. and this is like you this this the the language of of the assassins, basically the language of the thieves, right? Um, oh, you notice you you read off what it is, you know, what I'm saying it's basically guys been a thorn in the side of this of the government. They're trying to get him off. There's a horse race coming up. They're trying to make it look like an accident. You know what I mean? They're mm -hmm. just trying to get rid of it. And you will get paid. Of course, all these have, have different payments on it, ranging from 600 gold to a couple thousand gold. All of these are a little bit different on there. Um, but you notice this one, you, you call the location of Gignagua. Diesel, that's your home plane. Okay. He says it's from Kafno, which is the country that you're from. Oh. And it's the okay. Sheriff's Empire. So as soon as they say that, you're like, wait a minute. Are they talking about Hinjar? Hinjar is a baron that has been trying to undermine your father for the longest. Okay. Uh, so okay. that's one that it's, it's at these camp. You can't read it, but he's reading it out for everybody. Uh, so since you all are heading to your home in the first place, because that's the next spot to get back to the plane you guys need to go to, right, to find the queen or hopefully find the queen. Uh, I'm assuming you all take that one with you as well, since you're already heading that direction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I won't walk out to get out and see it. Now this one you here. Don't want me to see it. Nope. Good. It does say three thousand gold. And it's only three of us. It does say three thousand gold right now. So okay. as you all, are, as you all, you can kind of finish up reading through. You have you have an idea, kind of what this place is now. You have a general idea of what this place may be. Um. You got to pick a direction. You got to pick a direction now. You know what I mean? You don't know. Even though, Diesel, you know where you're going, you don't know where you're going. 
<laughs> You've been here. Other than the, the other than coming to this spot, like the teleportation, you've had other people guide you to the next city. So you don't know exactly which direction you need to go from here. Right? Okay. Um, are there any paths? None. There you see that there were, right? Like there are paths that go kind of off different directions, but all of them have been sand swept. Basically, so after about a good foot or two, you see nothing. You see nothing Ooh. at all. Uh, well, so you all would between you three, if you can give me where which direction you want to go, just north, south, east, or west, and we will kind of, you know, what I'm saying we can kind of go from there. Mm. What do you all think? Oh no. Well, um if you want, you can give me a perception check. All three of you can. And I can give you give me a direction you're looking and a perception check for that direction. And I'll tell you if you happen to notice anything in the distance, anything that looks, you know, territory lies, mountain ranges, anything yeah. like that. Everybody want to pick a direction. Uh I'll pick north. Okay. I'm gonna go with the dirty, dirty. All right. Right. All right. Mine, uh, my roll is just a ten. Okay. <laughs> ten as well. <laughs> wow. All right, Rod. What, well, what you gonna do, Rod? What you gonna do? Penguin. Can Ryan hear us? Oh, can oh you hear snap. Us? I, I had you on mute. My bad. I was quiet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so 11 and, north. 11 and north. Okay, well. We already got somebody looking north. We already got one for north. We need east or west. That means both west. niggas want to go north. <laughs> west was 11. Uh, you all also remember you have that war force that you all found in the dungeon with you. We have the what now? The Warforge. The machine. Okay. Yeah. You the dungeon with you. He turns and he just looks. He sees you all looking in different directions. He looks the other direction. He's like, okay, well, I just, I guess I'll just look that way. Uh, he rolls a 19. To the east. So, to the south. Pull that back up here. Okay, to the south. You see dirt. <laughs> you see sand. <laughs> no, not dirt. You see white vegetation. You know what I mean? Um, nothing major. Like nothing really picks out. You see some outcroppings, but as far as you can see, dust. Right. Uh, same thing for north. There are some more mountainous outcroppings, though, going towards the north. Um, to the west, you see what looks like a volcano, a volcano mm -hmm. out in the distance. Could be where some of that that smoke is coming from, uh, at least in the, in the in your near proximity. So you start, you do see a volcanic billowing coming from a mountain out to the west. Uh, now to the east, he kind of stands there. It just looks and looks and looks. And his eyes start clicking and like folk like refocusing, like you know, camera lenses like rotating around and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And he just, mm -hmm. he's just rotating and he sees like storm. And he just points to the east direction. Storm, huh? Well, probably don't want to head that way. Um, go to the eye of the sea. I will say the closest high ground, the closest high ground is to the south. I will say that. Like I said, you do see the mountain out to the west, 
but it looks like it's a distance away, right? Um, as far as you get into some semblance of higher ground, looks like taller than the building. There is an outcropping that looks like it's to the south of you all. Seems as good as bad as any. Couldn't hurt. What was north? Mountain, uh, no, no, that's what. My bad. Yeah, mountains. Yep. There's just like some mountain mountain ranges, kind of like some mesas and stuff like that. For you, kind of see them. You see them in shadow of like the passing, the little light that's flipping through the clouds. Every so often, you could have swore you thought you saw it move, though. But you're not sure. Which way I want to go, man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, one y'all can roll a D four and just see what what it lands on and roll with that. Uh, I would vote south. South. Let's go dirty. Right. With it. Yeah, let's go dirty. All right, I'll I'll, I'll roll. Going dirty. Y'all niggas right. going to the A. We going. We going A. Okay. All right. So I'm on it. Wall start. Just take off walking. Tommy, Tommy, you. Uh, as you go through, as you're, you're saying you're going down, you're seeing different vegetation, just little shrubs, dried brush, some cactus-looking plants, and things of that nature. Um, no wildlife, though. No wildlife. Um, you, you notice that this is definitely a harsher, harsher environment. Uh, some of you start to pull up some of your cloak over your face, just because the wind does whip a little bit out here in the open space. And with all that sand and dust and stuff, it can be a little bit of an issue. Uh, these are the trunk you kind of wrap it <laughs> around your neck to kind of keep it from keep stuff from blowing into it. Um, and you guys, you guys kind of walk. Uh, you you noticed about two or three miles in. Like I said y'all are walking. About two or three miles in, you all see something coming. Looks like it's coming towards you. It looks really small, but you don't know if it's like distance is making it look small or if it actually is small. And as you all walk, you do see you see see something's coming towards you, and it looks like it's hopping almost. Uh like the movement, you can't you, you can't you know say it looks like it's going up and down, either standing still or it's coming towards you. You don't know yet. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I asked the machine if he knows what it is. Sure. Uh, he he kind of stops. Well, he's, he's kind of walking with you, and he's kind of he can't straighten up. He's been he's been half leaning over right now uh, as he's walking, like he's trying to. His his motor functions aren't all quite there still, right? He's he's keep his everything is taking him to kind of keep walking with you all. Uh, and he sits up straight and looks and he says uh, no I I I I it alone alone it's alone and that, that's all you get out of him he keeps walking forward mm-hmm. 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 I need someone who's got uh what's your old passive perception? Hmm. What's the what? Passive perception. Oh, you ain't talking to me though, so no passive inception. I think it passive I got 15 in it, I think. Okay. Passive perception, yeah, that, that's yours. Yeah, mine's just 13. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Let me get the most. If I can. Yeah, inside I have 15. Okay. So you start to hear like a whisper. Like faint. And, and it's kind of like a... It, it's a help! 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 And you start to, and the closer you all are going towards it, or it's coming to you, 
the sound keeps getting clearer and clearer and clearer, indicating that it's probably moving with some speed your direction. Hmm. Do you all keep walking? Do you run up? Do you stop completely? I say we should try to help. Uh, I guess it will make it. I mean, I would say we should approach it cautiously. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you guys are just keeping your mate your pace. You're not speeding up or anything. Just keeping your same pace going forward. Then, sure. Okay. Okay. As it starts to, it's probably like. 60 feet away now, right? All of a sudden in the air, you all see an arrow. <coughs> Hit him straight through the back of his throat from out of nowhere. It just arched from the sky. Like it had been, a, like it was a missile that got sent. Arched through the sky, pierced him straight through his throat from the back of his head. Base of the skull almost. Dang. That's rough. And he just comes skidding to all. <laughs> you don't see anybody else. And I mean, you're you're on a wide open plane. There's no like dust storms or nothing like that. You have no clue where this arrow came from. You don't know if it was magically sent. Nothing. And you see, you kind of see it looks like it reaching his hand up as you as 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 you all are kind of still kind of walking towards um eh, time to go time to go <laughs> uh, is any one of us carrying a shield nope uh, no Mm-mm. yeah well let me see yep. and uh I don't know if this would. Can we send a robot to go check on him? I mean, you can. Yeah, you can. You can see if he'll go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Up there. Yeah. Let's have him. I mean, what? Well, I mean, we should have him check for check the body for any valuables, what, any money, any weapons, any potions. So, how far back are you guys? Like I said, you guys were about sixty feet away when he got hit. Oh, How we far stopped. back are you on? You stopped immediately. <laughs> like, no, we ain't getting closer. Okay. Okay. So you all stop and you ask the ask the, the war to go up there. And he, he kind of looks at you all and then looks down there at the <laughs> whatever it is and is like me go there. And he he, he has this look like for real. Yes. And then he looks at you all and like, yeah, y'all, they're not moving. They're not moving. Fine. Go. So he goes, he starts walking and he breaks into a little jog and then next thing you know, boy's in a full sprint in like 2.2 seconds. Thanks. Some eye robot like, type stuff. Right, right. He's been dragging his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Dude straight just was like, mission. You go like he was out. So he gets there, and you see him stop and look around, and he doesn't get a defensive posture, like physically standing, but you can tell when he stops moving, he's ready for anything. There's just like something about the way he's standing; it feels like he's ready for anything. Mm. And then he's down. Scoops up whatever it is, and when you look at it compared to him, now remember he's about six feet. He's just short of you, Diesel, right? Okay. But when he picks this thing up, it looks like it could have been a like a kid. That's how small it is. He's holding it in his arms, and so he comes running back, not as fast, but you know he kind of he's carrying carrying this thing back, and he gets there, and it is a rabbit person. And they're like, they're holding the thing. He didn't move the arrow, right? He didn't do anything like that. And they've got a. Uh, uh, a piece of paper. 
tucked in the jacket. He reaches for it, grabs it. It's nothing specific. He hand, kind of hands it, hands it over to you all. And there's nothing really on it. It looks like a, a shopping list, right? Things to grab, items for enchantments, um, some extra knives, stuff like that, right? All right. But before it stops moving, all you hear it make out, you can make out and that's the last strained word that comes out of its mouth. I can't even say it again. It was he said uh shipments, smugglers, tell Caldone and run. I heard run time ago. <laughs> now to give you an idea of what you saw, that's kind of what you saw. Hold up a minute. Oh man. There you go. That's kind of what you saw. Oh, he's adorable. Is that dumb one? That he's in armor. Oh, he's got a little oh, leather yeah. armor on. Oh, Where are you at? Where are you looking at? There you go. Oh my thing. Oh. Hmm. A big bunny. Yes, it's a bunny. It, it's about about two to three feet tall. Hmm. About two to three feet tall. But that, oh, that's what you uh, Peter Cotton said. Yeah. Okay. Not metal armor, but this is like leather armor. Right? Oh, there we go. So... Little little tank tank here. Guys, tink, tink. And those were his last call words. Call them bugs. Call them bugs. bugs. <laughs> now that's Thumper right here. Thumper. <laughs> Poor Thumper. What do you guys want to do with that information? All right. Um, so shipments, smugglers, tell, cordona, and run. Mm-hmm. Um, we the last thing first. <laughs> Which direction are you gonna go? East. Um, apparently not the way it was going. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna cut east? Not going south no more. Wait, is okay. the east where the storm was, or what the robot said the storm? East is east is where he saw the storm. Correct. However, that it's was not. about a good three, four miles back the other direction. So you don't know where it was coming from or anything like that. Um, so up to you all. Uh, tell, so it looked like it was coming your direction either way. Mm. He didn't roll a 19. So he would have known roughly if it was coming you guys' direction. Or not. So hear me out. Me out. He, he was running towards this, right? Right. So we would say the south. He was from north. I think we should uh, go back. <laughs> the way oh. because apparently who he was finna go tail is north. Ooh. I'm full with that. All right, so you guys start heading back that direction. I guess yeah. I'm all voting. So yeah. Okay. Oh, hopefully, okay. both have figured a way out. He about to get back. <laughs> now you say I'm not allowed to. No, nah, like they, he's stuck there. Like he can't read anything else in those rooms. Like he's hit. So unless, oh, well, unless something happens and y'all go get him, he's stuck. I uh, want to go get him. So he shouldn't have left. Hmm. Y'all, I ain't know it was going to end up like this. Hey. I didn't know this thing was going to stick me in the <laughs> Okay. Hold he going to start it up then. Wait. Pause, pause. Let me say this. You got locked in the room. You heard us on the other side of the door. You wait till we leave to try to get out. Because I thought 
There's going to be a way wait. for me to try to figure it out wait, on my wait. own. He, you he, could. I, I, I gave you the option. Hear, hear me. No, you Think said about I couldn't try to figure it out on my own. No, no, no. Wait, wait, bro. You heard no, us in the no. other room. He said you I wait till we know. leave and try to figure it out on your own. We can just got you. Yeah, I wanted to do it on my own. I got my Why are you playing the game <laughs> on hard when we're trying to play it on He's easy? He's on insane. He's but on first, insane. Nigga, I'm listening. So <laughs> last year this game came out. It was called Elden Ring. And they said you're not allowed to have an easy mode. So this is not Elden Rings. I've gotten accustomed to difficulty, nigga. Well, hey, now you can be accustomed to being way. stuck. He's Zora, Monty said. He's just Zora. <laughs> Even Zora would have said Luffy. Is that you? <laughs> All right. So y'all start heading back. Is anybody paying attention to what's behind them? <clears throat> Who's watching? First, who's watching what's behind you all, or is anyone? We got the robot looking for better eyesight. Okay. So <coughs> on, on the we try to figure out how to put him in guard mode. Yeah, he in guard mode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So he kind of he kind of keeps an eye behind you all. I will tell you, he probably has the worst passive perception of all of y'all. So, the robot, I have a team. The robot a Damn, uh -huh. what kind of robot is that? He's not a robot. That's oh. the thing. <laughs> so why do you keep calling that nigga a robot? So, who has the, out of yeah. all of us, who has the best? Mine's just 13. Rye has passive. You said passive is probably Rod. Yeah, passive. Yeah, for insight and perception, I both have a 15. Yeah, Percep and perception is going to be what you see in your environment in general without actually having to actually roll I got for it. I got a 10 <coughs> with passive version of 10. I'm at 15 insight. So. Okay, okay. So you're yeah, right. Um, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I have a, a we don't care what you got. You, you're on punishment. <laughs> you, you, you're trying to go, so, yeah, you can either go off your passive, or if you want ride, I'll let you make a roll for it. If somebody else wants to make a roll for it, or you can go off a ride passive. Up to y'all. Uh, ride has the highest. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go with ride. All right. I'll just use my passive. Nice. passive. Okay. Okay. So, as of right now, you don't, nothing, nothing tickles your radar, right? The winds aren't really adjusting any way that seems odd to you. Nothing that unnatural from what you've noticed so far, anyway, because it's still a new environment to you. From what you've seen so far, nothing unnatural is occurring or coming, right? Um, for you, though, you are wondering about that arrow. Because for an arrow to come that far and you not to be able to see the sender of it, there's some type of magic at work, right? And it probably has something to do with some type of air magic or, you know, wind magic or something like that in order to guide that arrow as far as it did. So your mind is kind of ticking about that right now. Right? Just call me. I'm going to be able to hear y'all. I'm trying to cook too. You're good. <clears throat> so you all, I'll, I'll say you get it back without any real issue. Right? You make it back to the chapel at that point. What are you doing with the body? I guess it's the first question. Mm. I say bury it. I'm give him a proper right. burial, at least. Okay. So you guys gonna give him a proper burial at the at the church then at the oh, chapel? Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, we could do that. Okay. Okay. Y'all giving Thumper. Oh, a proper you kind of take out your great axe and just kind of like cut a cut a swatch a hole. You know what I mean in the ground. Yeah, Pretty yeah. simple. You know, saying the dirt, dirt's relatively loose. Find a little area. Put him in there, cover him up, cover him up. Anybody want to give any last words for him? All right. All right. All right. So 
you know, you do give get a quick minute, moment of silence as you lay, we'll, we'll say thumper, as you all have affectionately nicknamed the, the dead rabbit to rest. Okay. All that um, walking y'all been doing, y'all niggas ain't get hungry. Y'all should have ate that nigga. <laughs> well, it was talking to him, so you know, <coughs> here's that part. Um, you have the option. Do you want to continue to go north? You all are back at the at the chapel. If you wanted to, you could try to see if y'all wanted to get him out again. Since you're there, uh, no, let's no, let's ignore him. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing going. Let's keep going. All right. So we'll keep going. Um. Oh, which are you guys? Still <laughs> Say that one more time. I can hear the last one. They said they're going to... I said, you guys made it back to the chapel. You guys buried Thumper. Rod said, y'all just going to keep going and leave leave <laughs> Silk Crap in the have chapel. a question. Have, have we hit up since our last fights? You have not. <laughs> and that's why I no. said... Damn damn asshole. Asshole. Oh, no, that nigga Panda is an asshole, bro. I, hey. time, these niggas only, yet. Only reason I thought about it, I looked at my hip with my hip was still Uh huh. Uh huh. Crazy. Okay, bro. so I will say this you all are back at the chapel. Okay. You can either camp outside, unknown environment. You have to take shifts guarding. Or Diesel does know how to get back inside and you can take your long rest there. And long rest, you automatically heal all your hit points. Any spell slots you have, come back, all of that. But if we come back inside, we got to run some Yeah, probably. Nope, let's do a short rest. Y'all want to stay outside? You want to put him on punishment. Long rest outside too. Long rest outside too. Yeah, let's rest outside. But, I mean, inside it's like inside would make more sense because we still have that thing okay. out there. Okay. Whoever fired that interval. He, hold on, hear, hear me out. We have to hear me out. Let's take a vote. Let's vote. If we go inside, nine chances out of ten, well, ten out of ten, we're we're gonna save Silk, but we don't want to be an asshole. If we step outside, we can punish him. So next time he know, don't leave the group. <laughs> uh, he's your guy's oh. companion, so whatever you want to do. Right. You think he learned his lesson? Oh, you want to ask me if he learned his lesson? Nope. But I <laughs> say he doesn't. <laughs> he said he did not. <laughs> <laughs> we can leave. <laughs> we, we want to stay in money. Say, hear me. They already said he did not learn his lesson. He just you said it. You were not supposed to hear me. <laughs> don't hear me. Don't leave the group. Thank you. Everybody knows you do not split the party. <laughs> it's a given. Say it. Vo, say it. Say what? Don't leave the group. Don't leave the group. If your master is gonna make no, 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 I say own. don't leave the group. Don't leave the group unless you know that you know, we're, we're camping out. I vote camp outside because he just can't say it. He can't right. say it. You camping outside then. <laughs> All right, Rod, what you say? Rod was the main one. I was like, no, nah, we had this day. camp outside. So, yeah, it was. <laughs> so outside it is. Okay. Long rest. Uh, I'm, I'm going to need a round of who's taking first watch? I'll do it. Uh, I'll take the first watch. You ain't watching nothing but your jail cell right now, sir. You watch the door frame to see if anybody comes through. That's what you watch. <laughs> Don't leave the party. I said it, okay? God damn. What's That's up to y'all. As of right now, y'all taking first first round. Y'all can always try after after a long rest if you want to. He's clearly getting his long yeah. rest. 
He ain't doing nothing. I'm, good. I'm mad healthy, nigga. I'm <laughs> so, you man, lonely. Look, you getting first uh, first watch? Nigga, I'm not lonely. I, yeah, I'll, I'll do first watch. I'm perfect. Okay. Uh, let me get a. Uh, give me a survival check. No, 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 no. Sorry. Give me perception. Perception. God damn, I rolled a six. All right. <laughs> so before y'all bed down, and you don't know if there is a night or day here, everything looks about the same. Damn. But really, you all are just trying to get some hours in to relax, rest up, heal, that sort of thing. Okay? Um, I, I was just is there anything you all want to do during that rest time before y'all like bed down and kind of like nap? Do we have any concerns? Do we have like enough food and water though? Is that even an issue with us to last for a few days? As of right now, yeah, you all should have rations and things like that on you. Um, no, because they didn't. They didn't eat Peter Cottontail. They didn't got a ration. Yeah, they. Everybody has rations on them. Oh, that's all I was gonna say. I wanted. I wanted to raid him. I wanted that little sword. Oh, he he has no weapons on him. He just had like leather you on. Just, him. Little yellow. Show the picture. Leather. You show the picture with the sword. I will give you an idea what he looked like. That's all. But yeah, no, he just has. He had a little leather on. Him. He was like a courier. Is what he looked like. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's nothing. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he didn't have anything. Uh, really. Um, I will say oh, yeah, he I had forgot. probably about five silver. I will say I'm that. Not a like five up. silver. I forgot to uh, uh, tell you. Yeah, I got my first <laughs> uh, carrier cut today. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a hey. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, what's yeah. So infamous trans officially has his first independent contract. Nice. nice. All right. All right. Nice. I'm love. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. <coughs> um. Okay. So he rolled a six. All right. So you're out there chilling, ears flapping in the dusty wind. Uh, uh, like yeah. Like I, I think you're pretty much hey. there. Like I have, I have a dislike. For the dice on this um, app, I'm gonna get my my twelve for real. Go get it. <laughs> Let me see my D twelves. <laughs> um, you don't see anything, of course, right? Everything looks yeah. the same. Um, nothing. The wind is fine. There's nobody out there. You see a lizard, like a little small lizard, run across the sand. It's the first sign of life you've seen, other than the rabbit. Um. But that's about it. Yeah, your your shift goes uneventful. You uh, you go. Who's who's taking second watch? Mm, I guess I can take second watch. I guess. So you you go wake uh, Jen up, and he he gets up and comes over to do his watch. Give me a perception check, sir. I'll give you an option. I'll give you survival right. for this one. Survival. Uh, you I think I'll do perce- I'll do perceptions at okay. a plus five where it's more logical sense. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait, no, wow. not nice. Eleven. I thought it was gonna land on sixteen ah. again. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. Um you do notice the winds are picking up. Just your general attunement to, you know, air and elemental thing like that. Um, the, wind, the wind is picking up a little bit. Possibly a storm coming, mm-hmm. something like that. You don't see anybody. You don't see any danger. But there could be a storm coming. It's like a sandstorm coming here. So, storm, okay. Um. So you can let them know. You know, say you let them know that. Up to you. How you all want to proceed. Um. If you all just want to kind of batten down. You know what I mean, or how you want to handle that? It doesn't think it doesn't look like it's gonna to be too bad yet. You know what I mean, but it could be a 
a right. dust storm. So you, you know, grab some towels or some some clothes, put them over your faces, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, but other than that, no, no issues at all. No issues at all. Um, on a watch. <coughs> Where's Jay at? I'm here. Perception or survival? Let me go back to it. You said perception or survival? Yep, perception or survival. Okay. You mother. Let me find my dice, man. (laughs) What it roll? (laughs) An eight. <laughs> so Damn. you told him about the winds picking up and that there's possibly a storm coming. He looks around. Storm. What storm? I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> like he pulls one of those, basically. <laughs> he pulls a symbol. Um, <laughs> that's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> so with that happening. Yeah. You all wake up in the middle of a blustering sandstorm. Oh, oh crap. I need my dice. I'm tired of this app. This app rolls low every time. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, a, it's a blustering sandstorm, and it's it's whipping. Um, however, upon waking up, you do, as everybody gets up, you do notice you hear the sound of an animal coming your direction. Like a wait, let me hear that roll one more time. You're in the building. Uh, now, let me hear that roar again. <laughs> you can hear it. That roar was classic right like, like, there, boy. <laughs> it sounds like a cla- uh, a cross between like a like a bull animal and a uh, yeah, something like that and that, like a growl and a that shit was, it was like an omnivore of some sort. Oh, that was the growl of the omnivore. And you all start seeing the it shadow. Because fucking bears are omnivores. Think of a. Uh, oh. What's that hippo? Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's got kind of cool coming through the coming through the sands. The sands of time. Okay. Wrong franchise. <laughs> right. <coughs> you see that you see that kind of form coming through, and then behind it, you start to see what looks like a carriage or a cart or something like that. And you're somebody, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. And before you all, you see a, two or three carts coming through the sandstorm and stopping. And they've kind of made a little barricade around where. Uh, and where you all's camp, this set of camp in, is where they are. And this is what you all turn around to see as as everybody else is waking up. They kind of came out of the dust. Um. All right. It's uh, could I lead them inside the chapel before? Well, I guess. What do you guys think? Should we try to talk to them, or should we just? Head for the chapel inside. We should probably talk to them. Talk to them. Well, as you all, as you guys are getting up, there the first thing you see is somebody. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. Easy. We're, Easy we're, we're friends. We're friends. I'll just trying to have some uh, cover from the sandstorm here. You all. Oh, y'all making friends? Y'all trying to replace me? Yes. Ooh, I wonder why. <laughs> you almost spit that out. <laughs> Everybody okay? Anybody hurt? Or... Mm, nah. We lost. We lost. We're lost okay. a friend. And oh, he stops nah. and he pulls a hat off his head and kind of puts it on his chest. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. It's, uh... Nigga, I ain't dead. Hey, uh, we don't know that. I, know. I, that. I heard somebody was talking about Thumper. And then he see and then he looks over and he sees the little burial mound. 
And he's like, uh, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll pay my, my condolences. If, if you're, it's okay with you all. He walks over and, you know, does a little, you know, says a little prayer and comes back over, puts his hat on. And at this point, you see there were three other carts that are being that were being in the caravan, and people are getting off. Okay? About three people that are uh, getting off. As of right now, Tim and one other, and then a third person jumped off the other side. You don't know what they look like or anything like that. Uh, this guy, though, as he walks in, he uh, does a whistle, and the top of the cart flips backwards and basically like the guy that jumped on the other side i guess unhooked it and so it creates like a dome almost that flips around and blocks the wind from coming in they clearly live here right (laughs) they're used to this so they're saying vendors pretty much (laughs) pretty much but now the caravan tops pop up and create the shelving and gives you guys a little bit of a dome, kind of some protection from the wind because they've got it blocked against the building itself, right? So they got that block. Uh, you see an individual who is tan brown, almost rocky sand complexion, rocky but you see cracks going through the skin uh, with a with a red a red, almost red veins, look like red lava-like veins through those cracks that you see. Um, he, he kind of walks up, and puts his hat back on. Uh, my name is Brian. How's it going today? Oh, you all are here for the uh, the job board, or maybe. Okay. He kind of gives you a, a, an up and down, Jen. He's like, I, I don't need to be testy there. I, I understand. I understand. No competition here. I, I, we've got our own drop off that we're doing right now. Uh, can we all, Diesel, you know, um, ask him? Go ahead. Can we ask him like where um, these places are that the job board is telling us since we still don't know where we're technically going? We're just, just going off instinct right now. Yeah, yeah. He uh so he's like, Well, uh I'm gonna be honest, I can't see any of these that are up here currently. Um but from what you said, yeah, that's gonna be kinda hard. You're probably gonna have to go to one of the one of the cities here, uh either (coughs) or the South, uh, or sorry, either either north or east. Uh, you got Dells, well, the list they call it over in the east, and then down south, uh, you do have uh, you got Caldon. Yeah, you got Caldon to the south there. We just came from that direction, uh, and then uh, out to the east, you got the list. Less. They've they've got the chapels outside of this one. They've got the two the two chapels in this plane, I guess you could say, where you could get to another level, which may have the accesses to other planes. Um, okay. The one of the priests is the priest. He was saying any of these cities could lead us to the other planes. Yeah, either one of those will have a chapel that will allow you to transport. Well, uh, can I ask? He came from. Okay, he came from the south, right? He came from the south. He came from Caldon. He said. From Caldon. All right, that's uh, has to do with um, that assassination mission. Or not, not assassination. Uh, uh, as far as the missions. None of them were in Caldon. You had one in Gignagua, which is where you're from, your plane. Uh, oh, the other one was Caro. Yeah, I'm sorry. Cal- Caldon is, is what the bunny said. My bad. Yep. Yep. Uh, can I ask him, did he, has he come across any body since 
He left Caldon. Uh, well, can't say I have. I mean, there's. I mean, there's a couple. <coughs> you know, took care of them. But I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I was, there was a couple of lizard folk that tried to rob us a while back. You know, just general thieves. Uh, you find a lot of those around Tampa, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, either them or Knowles. Those are the two big ones you got to watch out for. They're scavengers. You know, they got to protect their. And then from the corner, you hear, yes, I do remember. And he clicks these boots, and they look like lizard skin boots. Dealing with a pair of those recently. <laughs> and I guess it's his partner. He kind of comes around and he's looking at him. Ah, this is Jirai. Uh, please don't mind him. He's a bit of a loose cannon. So I, I apologize in advance if he says anything reckless. Please keep yourself in line. These are new individuals. They do not know you. Okay? Whatever. You say so. Anyway, he turns around and walks back. He's just like, Ugh, I'm not, I'm not dealing with you right now. Uh, Brian knows, like, yeah, but those are the two, two places. But no, we didn't run into anybody else. Why, why, Jack? We just kiss. No reason, no reason. Just curious. Um, if we head south, are we gonna run into? You mentioned the lizard people. Any smugglers by chance in that area or in that direction? Ooh, uh, well, I don't think we need to mention the name. None that we, we ran across. Uh, like I said, we had that that band of lizard folk, but they kind of they they're my just kind of across the deserts, and if they catch somebody, they, you know, try to get what they can from them. Um, but other than that, no, I don't I don't quite think so. And then you hear he's interrupted by behind him that's holding the heart. He starts randomly growling and looking around like, like he's nervous. Uh, and he's like, oh, give, me, give me a minute, give me a minute. Well, so easy, 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 easy. That's a good girl. Pat there on the side. And you see this massive hippo-like creature yeah, yeah. with jagged, and I mean jagged, shark-like teeth. It's stout. It's thick skin. It's got like brown and green coloration kind of winding across it. Um, yeah, but he just kind of pats on the side. Easy, Jules. Easy, easy. Comes back over and like, sorry about that. I had to. She gets a little riled up from time to time. But uh, but yeah, no, no, nothing, nothing else. Uh, as of now, you start seeing the wind kind of dying down a little bit. Uh, the sandstorms slowly starting to subside, uh, and you see them winding the the caravans back, putting them back where they were so that they're covered again. And now, because yes, you didn't go around the other side. You start to see two, four. Six people hopping out the back of these carts. And mm. they're carrying these cases and walking towards the chapel. Mind you, you only saw the first three. You saw him, you saw Jariah that came up later, and the one guy that jumped off the other side. So these other people had to have been on the other side in the sand on the cart. And they're walking up with. Cases, you said? They're yeah, they're carrying cases and they're going into the chapel. Um, oh shit, they're gonna release roll cap. Now don't bring that fucking hippo over here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. And if, as they walk towards the door, you just see them wave a couple of incantations and then disappear. You see them going two by two. One, you know, one's carrying each end of it, like a like almost like coffin like coffin long boxes. They look like chests almost, but they're like coffin length, and they're just taking them and then disappearing into the chapel. All right. 
Um, I'm going to ask this man, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what's the deal or what's your business in this chapel? Oh, well, you know, drop off spot for guild measures and, you know, quests and things of that nature. So we're just bringing in some supplies from a recent haul from, you know, last job that we pulled off the board to make sure everything gets where it needs to go. Uh, and you are aware that there are rooms to drop off, <coughs> right, incantations. You can use teleportation circles in there to get to different areas. You've only been in that one room, though. So there's that. Um, okay. Switching gears real quick. Still, so, all of a sudden, you start hearing conversations and talking. It's muffled. Well, but it's okay. coming from within the building, like out this way. I don't know where it is. Where is it? I can't see your mouse. Yeah, no, I can't see it either. <laughs> Here we go. Give me a second. I know, I know, I know. Oh, I was in here, that's why. Out here. Did it go? Uh, here we go. There we go. You all see it now? Yes. Let me see. Okay. I see it. So that's you start hearing it from that direction. Okay. And you're like, all right, move this over here. Come on, let's get this going. We gotta hurry up and get these dropped off. And we ain't got time for all of this. Uh why do we hey, run? Yo, hey, yo, y'all hear me? Nope. They, they you, can, you can barely hear them. And they're they seem to be whatever they're doing, they're fixated because within like a few seconds, you don't hear anything anymore. Well, nigga, who was the point of telling me that I could hear them? I'm just letting you know you hear people. Because you should have did that. The first. They're not in the same room as you. You just you hear people in the building now, though, and then you hear them disappearing again. Um, I'm about to do these push-ups. <laughs> all right, so you go back to doing push-ups. So okay, back I'll, outside. Mm-hmm. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Nigga, I'm chilling. Nigga, I be, you know how long I've been here? Y'all niggas had a whole ass adventure, got stuck in a sandstorm, came back, met hippos and beastly motherfuckers. Now they moving caskets of supplies in a fucking chapel. Nigga, I'm about to I be wonder why we better. had an adventure. Not my, my yeah, nigga, gee, I wonder why. Mind you, <laughs> before all of this happened, I already was chilling by myself before y'all even made it. Stay here to figure out how to leave. I mean, technically, that's all. You know, know them little little short niggas you see in the gym that be grolic as hell, no neck and shit like this. I'm not. You ain't gonna be the dude from 90 Day Fiance. Right, the dude from 90 Day Fiance. Wow. (laughs) Nah, 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 nah. Because that nigga not swole. He just ain't got no neck. There's a difference. Is there? All right, so back outside. I still got my neck. I'm just swollen. Uh, and then after the third coffin, you don't. You know what I'm saying nothing. There's nothing else. There's nobody else over there. Um. But yeah. So Brian is sitting there. He's kind of like, so uh, what are you all? You all? You all heading out that direction, or you guys heading toward the south, or where were you headed? Man, tell them niggas I'm in here. Yeah, we were looking for our friend, but we had some other more pressing matters to take care of. Very uh, more pressing matters. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I mean, hope hopefully your friend's all right. He kind of looks over at the at the grave like oddly. Uh, I'm like yeah, hope they're on a better place. Uh it ain't that nigga, nigga. I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, they can't hear you, they don't know that. <laughs> uh well, I mean, yeah, either one of those cities should have a, a way to get to another plane. Uh you're welcome to ride with us if you'd like. Okay. Oh, let's roll. 
All right. Well, give us a few minutes. We'll finish uh, away from my guys to get back here and get everything reloaded and head out. Uh, Can we uh, offer? You headed. We we were talking about possibly possibly going uh, back to Caldon if you're going south. Um, I think maybe we should have a sidebar to discuss real quick. Oh, understandable. Yeah, understandable. And he uh he kind of he get he he was sitting down next to you all. He gets up, dusts his pants off. Well, uh, you all let us know. Like I said, I'm still waiting on my guys here to get back and. As soon as they do, we'll we'll head that direction. So you you just let us. Know. Did they notice the robot? Mm-hmm. They, have they? Oh yeah, go ahead. Well, I mean, he's sitting there with you all, so I would say yes. I mean, it's not like he was in a different place. Okay. Bonnie said, "Free the Jigglypuff." I'm not Never. Jigglypuff. Never. Don't if you accept being a Jigglypuff, we'll save you. No, wow. Me. <laughs> Leave me here to get brolic and then suffocate. By Never. no means do you save me under the reference of Jigglypuff saving. <laughs> so what do you guys want? What do you guys want? To, I mean, conversation is yours to have. He walked off. Uh, you do notice Jirai kind of looking at you all over the back of the beast. And he's just kind of like whining to wire the, the straps back up, tightening the harness to the to the cart. Uh, that first cart is empty right now. The other carts also seems empty, but it looks like everybody came off the back two carts. Uh, there really wasn't anybody on that first one from what it should be. From what it's- uh, all right. What do you guys think? Do you think we can trust these people? I'm, in all honesty, I think they are the smugglers. I say let's just observe a little bit more before we take any action. So you're thinking observe them as we travel with them? Exactly. I mean... Okay. If all we knew was sick was it. No, we don't. Who knows? Hope do okay. I know that silk is in because they don't know, but do I know that silk for sure is in that chapel? No. You would have no okay. the only person who would think that he was in there still is Jay at this point. And that's only because he knows he would not have had the ability to use the magic to get out. Which means he's gotta oh, be so in he's here. This nigga like penguin hasn't been maliciously doing it. That kind of makes the malicious compliance. No, that's not him. It's me. That's right. No, because penguin was like, "Yeah, don't go get that nigga," which was fun. I liked that. The whole like, yeah, no, it wasn't like it's just his character. Being the bad guy was so dope, but now you're saying <laughs> he doesn't even believe that I'm in there. Well, <laughs> he would. He would. He's gonna know about as much as Jay is, but Jay's known you longer, right? So with that being the case, but nah. Either you're in there or you're dead. Mm -hmm. Okay, you take off in there with dead. I mean, if y'all have that conversation. We've done this enough times. He's done this enough times. I kind of don't care anymore. So (laughs) might have just destroyed or broke the camel's back. Look, here we go. I'm going to mention that I don't think I think we need to go back to the chapel and check it out again for him because I feel like he couldn't have got out. He's still in somewhere. So in mentioning that, you would know how to get back into that room. Yes. Okay. Well, I bet I can get us back into that room. Um, Uh, Brian, walk back over. Uh, so did you all uh you all make a decision or I say we just keep I, I say we just keep riding with the with the guys. 
Oh, okay. Even though you have a, even though we now know that still kitten probably is in the chapel still. We gonna go. We just want. Yes, I too. like this. Ron, be the bad guy, my nigga. I love it. You're the, you're the bad guy. We're just, I'm just I trying mean, to talk like, Rod not giving a fuck is so dope, bro. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm fucking love because this is not Rod, bro. Like, this, this is amazing. Do that shit, Rod. Stand I just, you know, I so I don't have, because I just would, I guess I haven't even met Silk at all. Nah, yeah, you like, don't know me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you yeah, have okay. met, right? I already had like split up when them niggas found you. And shit, or, like, yeah, into he had already went through the tunnel when they were <laughs> going through the yeah. Through yeah we already got jumped already early because he left us earlier. So I mean, I'm just saying, technically, I ain't split up the group. Them niggas went the long way to where I went, bro. Like I told them niggas, well, we I did I tell ain't. them. I told them I didn't like just. Jump. I said, "Yo, I'm jumping on this shit with these gloves." <laughs> Them niggas decided they wasn't coming this way. They wanted to go through the door. So I'm just saying, it wasn't like I just poof magically disappeared and shit without saying nothing. I said, yo, I'm going down here. And look what happened. Y'all still ended up getting to where I always in. says, I'm going this way before he okay. gets lost. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. When we, when we were all together, we all look the place that you went had blood and there was a teleporter. Like, I don't know if they threw remains or what down there. And you jumped, and I'm like, why don't we go out? And me and Rod voted, and we said, Let's yeah. go out. And you still, I was already out. I jumped already. I was like, Yo, I'm going this no, way. No, you You're jumped close. after we voted. Right. Mm -hmm. I told y'all where I was going. I'm just saying. So he voted and he jumped. I said, I'm going this way. Let's leave him. Oh, let's leave him. Thank you. All right. All right. Y'all knew. Isn't that like y'all didn't know? Y'all knew. That's all I'm saying. All of a sudden, you start seeing the guys come back out. You two, 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 right? And they're carrying cases still. They seem to be a little lighter, though. They're not, you know what I'm saying? They're not as they're not holding them as tauntly as they were before. And you see them load them back into the back of the two carts. And uh well, uh, if you all are coming, you're more than welcome to hop on. Uh he points over at Diesel's like, you sir, you might want to get on the front cart there, though. Uh might not be much room for you in the back with your size and all. Uh same for your friend there. And he points over to the warforge. Is it at the diesel? Yeah. Oh, you can't hear it. So, so why are you asking? No, but I'm, I'm, I can hear the actual game. Maybe. No, we're outside. I can't hear us. So, you all hop on, or what are you doing? Yeah, let's hop on. I say hop all on. All right, all right. Yeah, we'll join them. We're just gonna try and be cautious. Okay. Okay. Are y'all leaving? So <laughs> they what else for us to do? We gotta go. We gotta go keep them yeah. still going. They take, they take off and. You see them start turning around and they start heading back, heading down towards the south. Now, one thing you do notice is if you're sitting in the back of you and the war force are sitting in the back, you notice there's nothing else in this particular card. Um, which card are you jumping in, Jen? Second, one, two, or three? Um, I'm going to go three. I'll take three. Three? Okay, so you're on the tail end, right? Jay, one, two, or three? Hey man, come save me, little nigga. I don't think we should be completely separated, so I'm gonna go three as well. Three, okay. So yeah. two in the front, two in the back. That's that's a good good idea. Good idea. So you all jump in and you start taking off. Now Brian is on the front one. He's leading the front of the caravan, right? He's riding. Uh, you've got two random guys on the other two on the side. You see dry on this, this two-legged raptor looking furry raptor looking beast, right? Uh, and he's just riding alongside of it, and he he'll he'll ride up as you guys are going and then come back. And then he'll ride off in a different direction and come back. And he just keeps doing this <coughs> for the entire route for about a good, you know, good first half of the of the trip there. So uh <laughs> You guys are heading to Caledonia. <laughs> um, 
first time a young boy or first time we get the contract? What 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 brought you down here? Oh, I don't say. Oh, who are you talking yeah, to? Uh, We're on a journey. Uh, We're just looking. And first of all, for my opportunity, I said, yeah, I just said, don't forget, nigga. Like, I ain't just, mm-hmm. don't make it seem like yeah. I just ran away. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Mm-hmm. Hold Sorry. We'll be back to you in about a month. That's fine. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. okay. You can be strong as shit, though, bro. I will, nigga. I'm about to be broke as shit. All I got to do is work out, man. So you need food. He's on his muscle grind, so we'll leave him be. That's right, right. right. So we gonna come back. Uh, He's no, gonna be a level seventy five or shit. First one. First one I ain't gonna wreck with, uh, no. Diesel and the Warforged right now. Um. Yeah, I just uh, I just uh, were just travelers. Just right. looking for work. Looking for work? Well, we're always we could always use an extra couple hands. Uh, if, you're, if you're handy with a blade, uh, he look he points at the great axe that you got laying on the floor down there. I see you uh, had a pretty impressive piece there. Uh, yeah, we are always. Who got forward. a great axe, Diesel? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it don't matter. You don't know. Him. I know. I just want to know. In the hey, uh, in the back, nigga, not as I, I just you I all go. Y'all two text each other. <laughs> it's about the game, fool. I know that, but I'm if I'm trying to do the story and y'all talking over me, you're the storyteller, nigga. I'm asking you all my questions are directed to you. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Are directed no, to everybody. You were responding to him about what I had asked, what I had answered you already. That's what I was saying. The extra stuff text. Yeah, I'm so, asking. With the uh with the back crew. You all watch Jirai ride off and come back and ride off and come back and ride off and come back. And he's going a different direction every time, right? He'll be gone for about a good 10, 20 minutes. But then he always comes back and finds you. And he always links up right back to the to the back of that third cart. And when he comes back this third time, he just kind of looks at you both. Uh, this is for Jay and uh, Jay and um, Jim. He looks at you both, kind of like, so uh, you all are new around here, huh? Yeah. You about to smuggle, my friend? Oh, interesting. Anything yeah, particular to bring you in, or you guys just sightseeing? A little bit of sightseeing, and I, I think I just explained it. I'm just going around trying to find various wind spells of the world. Just keep kind of occupied. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I'm not much of a magic person myself. Uh, so do you, you keep these spells on you, like in a book, or just do you just know them? It's more some are in a book, some are instinct. Oh. And, and in saying that they're in a book, you see his eyes wander down to your like he's searching for that book on you. Nah, nigga, you can't steal my boy book. Nobody Just so you know, you see, you see that. You know what I'm saying? You see his eyes start kind of okay, okay. Well, welcome, welcome to the to the group. Uh you sure you sure you all aren't no one here knows you. You ask a lot of questions. I'm just a, I'm just a traveling monk on it and looking for looking for wind spells. That's all I am. Oh, monk. Gotcha. Gotcha. So yeah, some word happened. <laughs> no one would, uh, would notice. Uh, interesting. Interesting. And he takes off again and goes a different direction. Uh and so that, that kind of that rotation continues to happen. Eventually, he comes back and you see him not come to the back, but he goes to the front. And you hear him whispering back and forth uh, with with Brian. Diesel does. Give me a perception check to see if you can overhear what they're saying with those big ears. All right. Don't steer me wrong. You've been giving me some shitty rolls all game. 
Come on, come on, come on. Big bucks, no whammies. Ooh, okay, yeah, I got a 21. Hey, right, Jared. Jared. We will take now, what was the plus to it. What was the roll itself? Was it a 20 plus something or no? I mean, no, 18 plus three. 18. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so with that, you hear the conversation as if they're sitting in your ear, right? Hey, there's a uh, there's another burrow over here. You make a quick sidetrack, see if they've got some more information, some of those supplies. I don't, I don't think the cargo will be an issue. I mean, there's enough of that food. We can easily. Oh, we gonna be it. They gonna be it. But yeah, we can. If we catch these, then we should be able to. We should be able to fulfill what we need. And Brian's like, all right, well, we can close out. But I can do this. Take you back to go. Uh, we'll, we'll split off. I don't quite trust the guy that he's doing the front part. Let's yeah, let's let's split off. Let's split off. We'll make a quick side. <coughs> and dry rides off to the start. He goes to the second truck, the second uh, caravan, and starts talking to them. And uh, Brian turns around. Well, hey, 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 guys, we start seeing him slow down. We're gonna slow down here. We're gonna take a quick pit stop here. Uh, we may we got to make them make some changes. And he gets off the front of the truck and goes and walks back to start talking to the ones on the second uh, second car. What are you doing in the front? Hmm. Um. All right. Can I get the attention of the boys in the back? Yeah, you can get Just out and go back there if you want. Okay. Part of, we already stopped. Okay, so I go back to them and I tell them what I overheard. Okay. okay. All right. What should we do? Hmm. We need to be like this. We need to be like yeah, they're about. up to something now. Now we know they're up to something. Yeah, they're trying to kick us out. Have we counted how many how many people is in that in this in this caravan? Total uh, eight. So you have the four, the six regular guys. It looks like, and then you have Brian and Jirai, uh, who are they look like they look to be the lead individuals. Plus, they have. The two beasts. Uh, there's three of those hippo-like beasts, right? Mm -hmm. Like driving the cart, one for each cart, and then he's got like that raptor animal. Don't be scared, y'all. Mm. We're in the middle of nowhere. Yep. You, are, no, you do know that you were. You're probably close. To, at this point, you're, you're you're probably a good ten additional miles past where you all started walking the first time. Okay. So, like where you saw the rabbit, you are going in the same direction. So it doesn't look like they deviated. They did. They they seem that they're going the direction that they told you they were going. Okay, so they've been up front. They've been honest. Okay, you just see this stuff now. Okay. They're just sketchy. <laughs> hmm. What do you guys think? Hmm. Mm. I don't trust them, but they don't know that we know, so that could give us an advantage. Yeah, we could probably try to reverse trap them. I think we could do that. Yeah, they try something funny. Maybe we can try to jump them, and then we could take the take the wagons and everything too. Just take it for ourselves, if it comes to be. All right, and we are all healed up. 
We have all our spells. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> we just have to play the smart. And there's eight of them. Eight on three, yep. So that's about two to three for everybody. Pretty much. Y'all got this, man. I roll with gangsters, bro. I believe we on this. Yep, I'll see you all how you wanna how you wanna handle it. All right. You think you wanna wait until they make a move? Definitely wait to make let them make the first move. I'm with it. I agree. Okay. You know I'm not there. Can we, is it a way we robot on high alert? No, that probably cause suspicion. But I mean, he's been he's oh. listening on this conversation though, right? Yeah, he's there. He's definitely there. I thought Panda say he's not a robot. It's the easiest way to describe him. Yeah. Y'all niggas is disrespectful. No, you're disrespectful. So, yeah, turn back, turn around, play fair, fair play. All right, oh, I'm gonna be right back. I just gotta get a charger. Go ahead. Shout, man, shout it. Oh, y'all hit me over with me. Shout it, shout it. I do, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout, shout. Yo, I'm about made chicken nuggets. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Making some homemade chicken nuggets? Yes, sir. So, Brian comes back to the back of the cart, and he's like, all right, gentlemen. Uh, well, the, the carts are about to split here. Um, we're going to take one of these carts. We got a, a mission we've got to do. Uh, <laughs> Jirai just got a, a quest for us that he uh, he forgot to mention that we had, had grabbed off the board and uh, we're near in the area where they need to peel off and get that handled. Uh, you're welcome to join them or uh, you know we can you can stay with me and we can just go go through uh, and keep going through. What, what do you what do you want to do? Think who y'all think y'all can handle. Let's hang back and see what happens. Better than. There's no point in disrupting their quest. We could just this would give us better opportunity in case something does happen or we get a funny sense. We could just jump him and just take the and take the, exactly. take the ride. Yeah, we'll stick oh, uh, to Brian who's still heading south. Yeah. Uh yeah. Yeah, Brian's still heading south. Yep. Okay. Then yeah, I'm cool with that for all. We're all cool with just heading south with Brian then. Yep. All right. So everybody goes, I guess, gets in the front part. <laughs> for the front part. <coughs> Brian? Okay. Yep. So you all do that. And one other one of the other guys hops in the front from the, the second cart. Uh he hops in the front with you. And you notice this guy has got a, uh, like Brian's got like the that brown sand skin, like stone like skin that you saw with the red veins. He's got more of a, a dark black, like almost onyx. Uh, think from Thor. It's kind of how like he looks like that that jagged obsidian look to himself. That's kind of how his skin is. He still got the cracks in there. But he also got the like the red vein like uh, protrusion, not protrusions, but like visual crevices going through his through his face. Okay. You all have never seen creatures like this before, but they look human. Other than that, it's just their skin is not soft. It's this like rocky, like matted stone with cracks through it. And as the other two cards go off, 
Uh, Jirai also pulls up besides Walt Park with his, his beast walking. Okay. How many people are with us now? Good question. Brian, Jirai, and one random guy from the other party. Uh, so three on, so three on three, pretty much. Okay. Three on three. Yeah, yeah, three on four, three. I'm believing you. Uh, you have the war force with you. You have the war force with you. So it's three on four. All right. So. You got the thing. So all right. So I guess we're just we're riding along, and we're gonna see if they make a move. Mm-hmm. Yep, so you all start heading through, and. As you all are going, what does Jirai start to pace back behind you a little bit? Um, let that nigga get behind y'all. He's been, he's been doing this the entire time. He's been back and forth. You know, he'll ride off. He'll come back. He'll ride off. He'll come back. And he, he paces behind you all and just kind of kind of watching. And you all are sitting in the back of the car now, right? So he's mm-hmm. looking at you all. And he's just eyeing you over. You don't know why or how, but he just put to the bottom of this. It's uneasy, right? Uneasy. Uh, all of a sudden, he's like, you know what? I'm tired of all this. And he pulls a crossbow off his back and levels it at you. Hmm. Um, there are four people on the four to see who he, levels, who, who he aims at. Everybody give me a number. One through four. Me two? Three. No. Two. Okay. One. All right. It was a one. God damn it. <laughs> so he aims it at you. You are the biggest one of all of them. So it makes sense that he's going to want to try to take you out first. Right? Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So he rolls. He tries to attack you. Just a moment here. While I'm doing this, if you don't mind, can you all roll initiative for me? I don't think you want to shake your hands back. Right. Initiative. Uh, It'll be at the very top. Oh, plus two. I right see it. Yep. All right. Mine's uh, 13. 13. I got 11. Okay. You said initiative. Roll one. Very top Four, four, four Fourteen. Yep. Oh, come on, bro. What'd you get? Well, three. One. Ooh. Okay. I got a three though. Okay, so you rolled a you rolled a three, but you had negative two. No, I, I rolled a one and I got a plus two. Oh yeah, one is like crit failure, so it don't matter. If you, if it's a one, it's a one. It's just done. All right, and then let's see. If theirs is gonna be five <coughs> and twelve. I don't like this app. Mm. So y'all got lucky, actually. Other than this one little surprise, y'all actually got away pretty decently with with how the attacks are going to roll. However, they do get off that first that first go. <coughs> I need to know: Does sixteen hit my? My armor, yeah, my armor class is 16. 
So just hits. So with that, we are looking at. Oh yeah, my armor class is fourteen. Yeah, it probably hits five. me. So five points of damage to you, sir. Five points of damage. All right. Yep. What is my armor class? Mine's thirteen. Do you gotta, Panda? Do you gotta do that, or do I enter it in somehow? Uh, you would enter it in, so you can do. Uh, do do do. Where's yours? I, oh, I see it. I see it. Okay. Uh, yep. Put it in and just hit damage, and it'll okay. subtract. I got you. Cool. Yeah, you're about to heal back up. Crack in here. All right. Uh, whose turn is it then? All right. So it is now uh, the Warforged's turn. So at this point, he sees he sees it come at you. He can't get to it in time because you're right at the back, right? You so can't do anything about it, really. But after that, he literally jumps through the side because it's a it's a tarp tent. He jumps through the side, lands, rolls, and turns and starts charging back at the guy. All right. So he's he's running back at him and he's going to do what does he do? What do we got here? He's gonna ooh. He's just gonna swing at him because. He's just like, okay, I don't know what's going on. So he's going to lunge and start if he knock him off the bird that he's on. Uh, and that is a 19, so he definitely hits. Uh, he's going to grapple him. Boom, knocks him off. And now the guy's down on the ground. The beast has run off. So it's of no concern right. at this point. Um, and he's just kind of like, he knocks it off and just stands there. Waiting his turn, his turn's done. Uh, next up, we got Diesel, and then Jen is on deck after that. Okay, okay, who's the closest? I'm sure it's one rando guy with the onyx skin. Is he the closest to me? Uh, you're at the back of the car <coughs> in <coughs> the front driving. It would have been uh, Warforged on the Side next across from you, Warforge and Jen, and then you on the, okay. at the back. So you're at the back. So it you're about equidistant because at this point the cart stopped because it rocked with him getting jumped. So you can yeah. either reach behind, turn around and grab the two dudes in the front or one of them two, or jump out the back and attack Jirai. I kind of want some revenge, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go attack. I'm gonna go towards him. Cool, cool. So you hop out the cart, grab your, grab your. I'm assuming you grab your great axe. Just go on for the great axe. <laughs> All right. And just, uh, let's just to be sure, uh -huh. I'm gonna go ahead and do a rage. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're gonna rage. All nice. right. Yes. Yeah, All right. Does that end my turn? Uh, so rage is just a bonus, and so that okay. gives you that bonus, and then you can actually do your attack. All right. Yeah. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna attack him. All right. So he runs up with a great axe. What do we get? Um, do I? You are you going to calculate the rage stuff? <laughs> you just need the. Uh, um, you just need the hit roll. Yep, yeah, just hit the roll. Yep. Ashley, what do you want to do? It is uh, fourteen plus five, so we're at a nineteen. Uh, nice. I think perfect. So yeah, with rage, what it does is it halves any damage coming to you going forward. So it doesn't do anything really on the attack, it, and it saves right. you. It helps you the strength saves and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So nineteen definitely hit. Um, and then what's the damage? Damage roll is uh, twelve. Twelve points. All right. So you come in, 
Slice right through him, basically. Uh, he kind of steps a couple steps back and is like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Just, just holding his chest, like, uh, uh, uh. see him holding the crossbow bow like he's trying to re aim at you. Jen, you're up. All right. Let's see what I want to do here. Let's see. Attacks. Mm. All right, you know what? I can I do fist of the unbroken air? Can. Who are you attacking? Um, who's the closest to me? Uh, you're in the front. Yeah, the, the, the random one. In the front. So either Brian or the extra dude. Uh, let's, I'm going with Brian. Okay. All right, so you're gonna spend two key points. For that, yep, and you has to be a let's see here, strength saving throw. Let's see here. Oh no, he fails that. Uh, sprint, yeah, no, he fails that. It's a seven, you had to get he had to get 13. So, no, he's he misses it. Uh, explain what happens when you when you hit him with that. Okay, so the air goes in a different direction. The wind blew it in an opposite direction. Okay. And what's the damage? Uh, how do I calculate my damage? Do I click it or? Uh, you can click. Yeah, it'll be the 3D10 there. You should be able to click on that. Yep, it is. Oh, boy. 18. Nice. So 18 points of damage. You just you come out the gate, just poof, throw him. He flies out the front of the car. And just hell yeah, ah! yeah shit, it's the ground. Uh, you said that was Brian, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right, right. Not the Mario. Yeah. Oh lord. All right. So he he hit, and then at that point. All of a sudden, the guy next to him, the extra, he starts to change. And you see him, his body starts twitching. And his body starts turning into a crow-like person. His humanoid crow. And he flies up in the air. He's a werebeast. A werebeast? Uh, he's a were-raven. And he's just flying in the air now. And he comes down to attack you. And he's going to go after you because you just went after his boss, right? So he's going to come sense. back. He's going to do a dive <coughs> bomb. Um, and what I need you to do is uh, I need you to roll a dexterity save for me. It's a dexterity? Okay. Dexterity, is... yep. You got to beat a 10. All right, what's dexterity at? Uh, dex is going to be on your... Yep, skills area. Which one? You're, you're doing a saving throw. So it's going to be the top little box under your... Here, I'm going to show you. Is it that DX plus two? DEX, it'll be plus six for you. It should say DEX plus six. It should be one area that says saving throws. Not under your skills. It'll be like uh, senses, saving throws, and... That. Wait, we're at in reaction? No, no not reaction. Uh, which your screen? Do you have? How's your setup? I guess I'm trying to figure out what you're using. Uh, whatever, whatever link you sent me. So I see spells, attack, inventory, features, traits. Okay, so the left of that. Do you see your skill column? Yeah. And then to the left of that should be three boxes. Should say. Saving throws and one box senses where your perception is. Passive perception should be right above that. Oh, I see saving throws. Okay. Yep. Hit the dexterity button. DX. What, DX the plus two DX. No, no, it should say plus six saving throw. <coughs> I'm not I'm still not seeing it unless I'm not clicking right. Saving throws. It's like this, right? But I'm on my phone, so you want to do this. Good. 
That's what I was like. I don't know why, if y'all could see it. Here, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can. That's a plus five, plus six, saving throw. I think it's saying it's a plus six, right? His is a plus six. And I'll yeah. I'll roll it for you if need be, but I just wanna I want you to see. Yeah, I'm trying to find it myself. Yeah, where it is as well. I'm seeing action, I'm seeing spells. All right. Can you see the screen right now? Hold on, let me flip that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me get through here. Uh, Jim. Okay, here we go. So right here, this area right here at the top. Okay, so that's what. I, yeah. Oh, plus two. Who was I looking at then? Okay, I'm like okay, but I was going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, that that is it. You are correct. <clears throat> I'm gonna say I don't have a plus six anything. All right, so I just hit that DX plus two then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it says plus two. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I'm reading it wrong. It's been a long day. But okay. yes, that is 16 it. 16 plus two, 18. Oh, yeah. So you definitely, you easily jump, dodge out the way. No issues whatsoever. They're like, you just, you avoid it all together. Okay. Um, let me take a quick look here, see if there's anything additional that it comes with. I don't think it does. Uh, no. You do still get the talent attack. He catches you, but he does not blind you with this one. So that'll be the thing with that. Um, and he's going to roll to see if he's with the talent. Oh, no. That's an eight. So what? what's your armor class again? 14. 14? Yeah, no. Nah, he misses. So he misses you completely. Just outright. You dodge out the cart. Like, you jump out, pass him out the cart, and just kind of sit there waiting, waiting for your turn. Okay? Get back okay. at him. Oh. Uh, Brian, after being not 10 feet, gets up and also starts to turn. He starts ripping the stone off his skin. And he's, he is a, looks like an earth elemental werewolf is what he looks like when he turns. And he comes charging back at you because you're right there, right? Unfortunately, the other two are at the back, and you're the one at the front right now. So he's going to come for you, and he's going to do uh, just two strikes with his claws. Uh, first one, hard miss. <laughs> oh, like a two. And the second one is a 14. You said your armor class is 14. 14. Okay, so he hits with that. Uh, and he does. Let's see here. Two D four. Where are we at? Four and three. So, nine damage. Ooh. Hit you with the claw. Wow. For nine damage. Ouch. And then after that, he's going to try to also swing again. <coughs> oh, no. First thing, he missed. He missed. He swung wide with the first one because it was a two. Second, when he catches you on the shoulder, rips across. Get you a good scratch on the shoulder as you try to dodge past them. All right. Um, Jay, you're up after the next one. So the guy at the back yep. that's facing against the Warforge and Diesel, Dry. I knew it was something about you all. It's interesting. Now let's see if you guys can take me in my full form. And he turns into a rat person. Like he sounded like he was a rat. 
but he really was <laughs> a rat. Like he's a were rat, my guy. No, stop trying to kill me, bro. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see what you can do now. You think you're all big and bad just because you're a locksmith? Okay, okay. And so he jumps at you, and he swings. First one was a ten, which I'm assuming misses. Misses. The second one is a seventeen. And what was your armor class again? Sixteen. Sixteen. So yeah. he hits you with this one. He pulled his short sword out, and it was just just come swinging at you because like, you know he's trying to take your head off. Quote unquote. He's he's coming for you, the little rat, you know, coming after the elephant. Um, and he does five damage. All right. Five. Did it take did you say the rage takes uh some of that damage away? So that would be two. So he does three damage? Two damage. Oh, he only does two damage. Okay. Two on I'll give him two on that one. It was a shallow one. He caught like the tip of the, the tip of your trunk, like as he as he as he tried to swing at you, trying to be all bold. He caught he just enough to like a paper cut. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> on your okay, trunk. okay. Uh, Jay, it's my turn again. Yo, uh, no, Jay's turn, and then uh, the war force, then you. Holy shit! Okay. So wait, did I take any damage, or am I good for right now? No, you're good right now. You're taking it. Okay. Can y'all hear me? No, yep. we can't. Now I can. Okay, my bad. I forgot I was muted. You're good. So, what I'm doing? So, you're in the front of the car still. No one's come after you. You've got the crow flying around above you, the raven. You've got the werewolf in front of you. And behind you, you have the were rat. I like the rat. I'm gonna take the rat. <laughs> Stop him out. So you run out the back of the cart, shoot, 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 jump out, and what's going on? What, what are you doing? I'm gonna take him. That's a What'd you say? Oh, I'm attacking uh, my sword. Sword, long sword. Uh, long sword. Long sword. All right. Yeah. Give me a roll. Hold uh, on. You good? You good? See, I switched to my tab. I forgot how to attack. <laughs> Okay, action. Long sword. Which one I rolled? The one that said plus five, right? Plus five, yep. You mother. You. Hey. <laughs> he what, it it what was it? It's an eight. Eight? Okay. Yeah. So you missed the first one. And then uh, you gonna do anything with your bonus action? Mm, yeah. You gonna move or anything, or you gonna stay where you are? I'm gonna move back. Move back. Okay. Now, if you move back outside of his range, like five feet, he gets to attack you. Yeah, I'm move back outside his range. Okay. So as you move back, he tries to swipe at you, and yeah, it's a miss. That's a ten. So <laughs> he missed <laughs> trying to trying to swipe at you with his sword. That was a fail. Um, the Warforge, not again. You've never seen him do any movements like this. He looks at the rat, and like you could almost see his face contort into a grimace, and he stops. And then you get you just hear this this bellowing of like heat and steam and like whistling like think of like a teapot kettle a tea kettle whistling. Uh, he hit a, he hit a Thomas on uh, train. Thomas train right Thomas tank engine hit him with that that yeah. mixed with like a growl 
Excuse me. Why does he put me in the mind of that one Dragon Ball Z character from the um, the first tournament of power? Well, not power. Yeah, I didn't like, with the fire in him. Yeah. Was yeah. it the tri- Trio de Jar? Is that what you're thinking of? Yeah. <coughs> so he rages. And then you see these arms of his appear about, uh, like around him. The man now has six arms. Four of them are floating from his back. And they're like his spectral arms floating around. And he goes to start swinging. One, two, both of them hit. And let's see here. One, two. So we're looking at three and six. So nine points of damage to the where uh where at at the back. And he just stands there waiting patiently, just looking at him, waiting to go. <coughs> All right. <coughs> you come back. Here we go. Nah, he said he had to dip out for a second or two. Uh, so we will postpone his for right now. Uh, Jen, go ahead. All right. So, all right. So, where are we at right now? So we got the. Mo- so so you're the, front. the okay. raven's above you, and then the werewolf is down in front of you. He, he just he just finished trying to swipe at you. Ooh, I should probably focus on the werewolf since he's right in front of me. I should try to get him. Need to move him out the way so I can focus on the raven. So. Okay. Right there. Oh, let me think. Give me a second to think. Uh, Go ahead. While you're doing that, I'm back. D- yep, you're back. D, go ahead with your turn. You are up. All right. Um. Let's see. Uh. All right. I. Can I do any summon? Summon my uh, or can I not while I'm in a rage? You can. You gonna summon your wildfire spirit? Yeah, let me go ahead and summon him. Okay. So, what does it look like? It can't All be right. big. He's not big. He's probably about, uh, I'd say he's probably about the size of a thumper. Right? He's humanoid in figure. He just looks <laughs> like a. Uh, a humanoid made out of fire. A little mini human. Okay. Little mini human. All right. So you all see this small. I don't like. You see these large hands start weaving these circles, and from nothing, apparates this little bitty human. Think baby Groot, but on fire. Baby Groot on fire. It's like a baby flame group. Mm. Uh, and he just stands there and he's like, <laughs> he's, he's ready to fight. What do you want to do? What do you want to do with him? Or what do you want to do? Now, he does, where do you make him come up at? Like, where does he appear? He appears right behind the wear rack. Right behind him? Okay. Yeah. So, keeping within five feet of that area. He's gonna have to. We're gonna have to do a uh, saving throw. So let me go ahead and roll that. Oh, he failed that miserably. Uh, do me a favor. Give me that one d six damage plus three. One d six damage plus three. All right, let me pull him up here. Okay. Oh, not bad there. That's not a bad well, roll. The, at least if it's the roll I'm seeing, that's not bad. It didn't pop okay. up on my end. What was 
I haven't. I don't think I rolled it. Oh, okay. Now I'm actually seeing the last roll. Then don't. Hey Jay, uh, I'm gonna mute you no. for right now, just because of the okay. water or the frying. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, you might have to help me figure out where to go to find his. his uh, attack. You see the little dice, the little circle dice thing in the corner on the left hand side. A little circle at the bottom on the left hand side. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Click on that. that, and then you can just click a D six. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. And then click roll to everyone. All right. That was a four. A four. All right. <laughs> so that was an additional. It was a four plus three. So an additional seven points fire damage happens to the were rat as this baby Groot apparates behind him and just is like looking at him like <laughs> and so is he is he about to go on the attack or what are we doing? Do I have one more bonus action? Uh one bonus action and one attack. So the bonus action was him coming appearing, and then you can yeah. either make him attack or you can attack. I'm gonna go ahead and attack him. Okay. I roll a 23. Oh, yeah, that definitely hits. That, that definitely hits. <laughs> That's not even a question, my guy. All right, and I do eight damage to him. Eight damage? All right. Mm-hmm. Perfect, perfect. So, yeah, he's he's definitely not in a good state at this point in time. He's he's sitting there. He's got slashes across his back. He's got uh, across his front. He's got burns across his back. Like the heels of his feet are just, like all burnt up and everything from little baby group popping up. Like it's horrible. It's horrible. Um. So he he turns around. He's like, <sighs> okay, I don't know. Jen, you're up. What are you going to do? All right. Well, thinking about it, thinking of the situation when you – I need to blow the werewolf back. So, ironically, I'm going to say, can I use my gust spell? Uh, gust, is it a cantrip or a spell? Let me see here. So, gust is a cantrip. It's not going to move them that far. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, it's only, if it is going to give him like five feet away from him farther, and he's right uh, up. So, it's really oh, not. No. Yeah, that's not good. Then I might as well do something else. If he's, going, if he's that close, then a gust of wind of... is different. Because you have gust of wind, which is your second level spell, and that'll knock him back about fifteen feet if he if he makes it. If he does, if he doesn't save. <coughs> okay, let's do gust of wind then. I don't know if I had that yet. Or wind. Not, but... All right. So you can do that one at will. Uh, what is that? Is it uh see what type of save is it? Do, 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 do. Strength save. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's an 18. So I believe he saves from that. Um yeah, your strength is a 13. So he saves. Uh, so he does have it. He can't, he didn't move back, but he does have it. It's hard for him to move forward. It's basically half movement for him moving forward as you okay. blow this gust of wind his direction. Uh, for that, okay, all right, all right. And so you got your you did your spell. You do have uh bonus actions if you want to take one. What would you want to do with that? Okay, what bonus actions do I have? Uh well as of right now, because you did a magic attack, so you can't use your second. You can how many key points do you have left? Uh I don't know. Let's see. Because you gotta mark those off as you're as you're using them. Wait, where did I mark off my key points? So in your actions. Let's see, you scroll down to the bottom. At the very bottom of your all on your actions, you got three key points. So you used two earlier. Yes, I'm down to one. Unbroken air. You got one key point left uh, until your next short rest. 
So you have the ability to do what is called patient defense, which allows you to dodge if the, when they, somebody tries to attack you in the next round, but you only have one key point left that you can use in this fight. Okay. Okay. So I might as well s- – now I can't restore my key points right now. One. Okay. Okay. So nothing else. Um, who is – who we have next? The Were Raven is going to come back at you. And he's, you know, he's looking at you like, okay, this dude dies my first attack. Uh, he comes back down. This time he drops down to the ground and he's gonna pull his sword out and, and try to come for you that, that way. Uh yeah, that was a fail. He, he has his rapier and he you know pulls it up on God and dashes at you, and you just like I, I just did ultra interesting Goku on him, didn't I? Right, right. He's <laughs> like slide step. Step. It's like like you got the hands behind your head, just like dude, <laughs> waving around side to side. It's, he just dodged it all together. So he's mad now. He he's horrible. He's horribly mad at you. He couldn't get anything done. The werewolf, on the other hand, seeing that you're trying to you try to push him back, is going to try to come back at you uh, with another multi attack. This time he's going to try to bite you. Uh oh, that's not good. Uh, that was a 19 hit. Ouch. And then he's going to try to hit you with a claw strike, which is a 14 to hit. Uh, both of those, I believe, hit you. And then so for the claw, it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the claw. And then on your bite attack. Let's see here. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There we go. It is not one to come up. I was trying to skip through doing the other way, but it's not well, it's not mm-hmm. letting me do it. Darn it. Okay, I'll just do it with the dice then. Uh, eight. Mm. You got full damage on that one. So ten oh. damage with the oh. bite. Oh boy, that put me. That hurt me pretty bad. So he's he's sitting there. He's, he's he swings at you. Wop grabs you, grabs you by the arm, and just <sighs> just bites into your shoulder, holding you there. Is this the rat nigga? He, or the wolf. The wolf. Oh, okay. Yeah, as long as that nigga don't get rabies and shit. <laughs> uh, now, you do have to roll for me. You okay. You should save. Okay, so what am I rolling? Constitution. Save. <laughs> Where is that? Yo, I heard prostitution. Uh, the next day yeah. was earlier with that plus two. The CON, right? Yep, C O N right under it. All right, let me click it. You good to me? Twelve. Ooh. All right. Good, good. So you made it. You, su- you just succeeded. You just barely succeeded on that one, bro. Uh, so you're you're safe. Um, Jane, are you allowed to tell us what would have happened if he failed? He could have possibly been cursed. Oh, that's not good. What happens when a werewolf bites you? Oh, I can turn into a werewolf. So. I'm a werewolf, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you right. gonna become a were rat. So, yeah, it, it's 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 like that. It's like that. <laughs> uh, the rat, on the other hand, back here looking at this, it's it's the the age of want to be like house a werewolf fighting. The elephant, <laughs> right? <laughs> the age old battle of the mouse and the elephant. So he's That's sitting hilarious. there. I can't take this. This I can't take this anymore. You stupid elephant! I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna run you through. <laughs> he, he, he picks a spear up and he starts charging. He just yeah, he just charges at you. Um, that is a. 
19? No, no, no. Yeah, 19 to hit for a short story. He just tries to run you through with his sword. 19 to hit goes in. And it is a 3-5 damage that he comes with. He just tries to run and just stabs you in the li- He catches you like right <laughs> area <laughs> so this is uh okay and this is the five after the damage reduction uh yeah no no so uh additional two, <laughs> two. okay right <laughs> so uh, right like i said he's kind of like paper cuts your thigh as he goes fast yeah paper cuts they hurt they do they do <laughs> they do um Oh, I forgot. You was actually over here doing doing this damage to this one. I'm tripping. I had it. I had it added to the other person. All right. I told you uh, one wasn't paying attention. Is next. And then uh, Diesel will be ready as well. The War Forger than you. I did the call call and everything. Okay. Okay. Oh. Jay, so who you after? Gotcha. You went you went back after the rat, didn't you? That went after the rat. Yeah. So what are you gonna do to him you this time? Rat? You pretty bad. Uh, what what can you I do? Cut his head off. Cut his head off. It's not like that. <laughs> I'm just using violence today. I'm gonna do it just because Rod right being violent. I'm gonna be violent. I'm gonna cut his head off. All right, so you go for you go for the head. You go for the head, all right. And go ahead and give me a roll for it. Why does it keep going back to this? Okay. I'm going to go with the wrong sword. Yo, what is up with these sorry? It's- yeah. Man, that's a miss. So you swing at him, and as a rat, he just nimbly, he's like, ah, ah, no, no. <laughs> you see, he's screaming <laughs> like a little punk. Back there, because now you were both staring. The three of you are staring and standing him down, looking over him, and you're <coughs> stature, all three of you just just looming over this little rat person. Um, so yeah, he he he, he bit, bit a little more than he could chew at this point. Uh, <coughs> again, still has those spectral arms, and he's still growling like. And you see these six arms just floating. Just as like his chest is going up and down, it's like ready to go. He goes, takes another set of swings, and see what he does. That is a 17 and another 17. So he goes back to work. He got a four and a one, so three and seven. Boom, boom. He just, and he's just body blowing this dude. He's straight up box. Boom. Dude, didn't work. Um, as a bonus action, he's gonna hit him again, and that is another four damage. So my guy just took. Yeah, my my, dad, my guy is. He's about to go down. He's literally because uh, I said I said seven four three. Mm-hmm. Okay, when I say he's looking rough, he's looking rough, rough, rough. <laughs> so he's about uh, to go to that doghouse in the sky. <laughs> it's about right. This is about that little that little rat trapping in heaven. He about to get the big cheese. So about to get the big cheese. Diesel, you're up, and then we're on deck. Right. Uh, what about the robot? Did he go already? He just went. He just he okay, was just right. racked, okay. he racked, <laughs> he racked, racked, re racked like he was going to work. All right, all right, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and attack him with the great axe. See if I can finish him off. Okay, all right. Finish him. Finish him. Uh, another twenty-three. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. That was that. Is it a natural twenty? No, no, 18. <coughs> gotcha. Okay, okay, cool. So, yeah. Catch him. What's the damage on it? it? You know what? It doesn't matter 
how would you like to decimate this were rat? Like, what do you want to do to end him? Uh, I think we can go with a decapitation. A decapitation? Yeah, you got to turn yes. him again to swing. The elephant, he just, he, he's sitting there. He's been swinging at him like two inches. Like, and he realized, he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> You're a rat. He grabs their axe in one hand, lifts it straight up, and is just like, rip that nigga head off. It's time. <laughs> one fell swoop. Head. The upper room. <laughs> right. <laughs> so where we're at? Done. Dunzo. He's out. All right. Um, okay. Next, we've got. What? Do I got a bonus action still? You do so. You have a movement and a bonus action. Okay. I'm gonna. There's still two. There's still the Were Raven and the Were Wolf. Yep, at the front of the cart. And you can easily make it up there. You're only you're only like 10, 20 feet away. Like I said, the front of the cart, like 10, 10, 10 feet. You know what I mean? It's the front of the cart. Okay. Run around. Well, all right, I'm going to use my bonus action to have my um, uh, wildfire spirit attack the were raven. Well, okay. okay. So he flies up. <laughs> And you see this little fly, little fly, like human torch looking thing. <clears throat> he flies up uh, and flies around the cart. And the raven's on the ground because he has rapier in his hand. And he flies up. That's a question. Do you want him to just appear next to him and do that teleportation thing that he's got? Or how do you want to do it? Oh, good question. Good question. Um, I want, yeah, go ahead and let me, let him have him teleport. Teleport? Okay. Yeah. Teleport, so we got to do a deck save. Oh, uh, yeah. He misses that completely. Let me get that 1d6 damage for him. 1d6 plus 3. All right. All right. Ah, uh, so it's only a 1. Okay. So 4 damage. Um, Do you... I mean, technically, they're within 5 feet. So let me roll again for the werewolf, too. He dodged it, so just four to the to the raven because they were within five feet of each other. So okay, and then um, I'll use my movement to uh, uh, head up close to uh, to these guys. All right, so you head you head that direction, and it was so. Four. <coughs> All right, so the raven is literally on his last leg at this point. Mm. Raven's on his last leg. Um, it is his turn, though. And now that he's got a new playmate here, he's coming for you. He's coming for you. For me? All right. He sits there and he he's like, okay, I don't I don't know what's doing. What are we going on? He he walks in and he's like he head side to side. And goes for a beak attack, just try to just stab you with his beak. Yeah, that was a miss. So yeah, he missed completely. You just like grabbed his beak and was just like, eh. <laughs> 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 like he's that, that was that was a no go. Um, he is going to try, however, to hit you with his rapier after that, though. And that is a 12? No, my 16. Yeah, so that misses. Um, so, yeah, his rapier, he, like, after you grabbed him with his beak, he's like, he tries to stab you with the rapier, and you just, like, eh, knock his hand to the side and toss him over. Like, yeah, it's all bad. Like, this raven is not having a good day. Um, never more. Never more. Never more. Never more. The werewolf, seeing that we now have some more individuals here, he's going to he's gonna howl just just horrible bloodlessly howl and realizing that the rat is gone. Jirai is now dead at this point. <laughs> Jumbo said you don't lead a group. Facts. <laughs> uh, That's the moral of the story so today. A bite and a claw attack. So the claw was a 17 plus four, so 21 to hit. And then the bite was a 14 to hit. So the bite misses, I believe. Your AC is what, 16? Oh, he's attacking me? Yeah. Yeah, he's attacking you. 
Yeah. So you do get a claw. You get a claw attack. That one's kind of like Spider-Man. It does eight damage. So five. Uh, eight four. Eight four. Four damage. Four damage. Okay. Four damage to you. Uh, and so and he tried to bite you. Like after he scratched you, he tried to bite you, but it just you just kind of dodged it completely. No issues there. Um, the next person up is the rat's dead. Jay, it's on you. The rat is dead. Uh. <laughs> I think I want to sneak attack somebody that ain't paying me no attention because I've been having shitty rooms. Wait a minute. What? Hey, you did the sound, King. Yo, baby over there having a time of her life. <laughs> like you're in the middle of battle, so they know you're there, but oh. you can do a uh, like a flank them and get like an additional two points to your roll. I'll do that. Okay, so who you're flanking, the raven or the werewolf? Right now, both of them are I mean, with the diesel. I'm going to go with the raven. The raven? Okay. Mm. You going for the raven? <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go to uh, cut one of his wings so it can't fly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, good okay. idea. Long sword, short sword, what you going to do? Long sword, always. Long sword? All right, let me get that roll. Get that Everybody get your roll on. 20. All okay. right, there you go. There you go. So I, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say this. Whatever you do, he's now maybe, maybe. we'll see. Mm. If you roll if you roll bad, then it may not. All right, which one's the damage? Uh, it'll be the one. Are you holding one handed or two handed? Uh, one handed. You're holding one handed, then it's the one d eight plus two. Okay, one d eight plus two. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Okay. How do you end this raven? He literally he just he just got mouthed. He got muzzled by Diesel. His arm smacked to the side when he tried to stab with the rapier. Diesel tosses him back as you cut around the corner. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> uh, versus freeze the straight middle. Straight down the middle. Okay. Oh, oh, right. You dip around the corner and just yeah, slash right through him. Raven gone. Brian is now the only one left. I can't uh, believe you did this to my people. What is and he's he's, he's, furious. Furious. he's furious. However, it's now the Warforged turn. And he seems to be a little upset with everybody at this point in time. When he comes around, he's in straight grind mode. 18. And then we got a nine plus five, which is a 14. Let me see here. What's his uh yeah, his armor class is yeah uh, twelve. So he goes in for the body shots again, and he's about to start laying into this werewolf. So we got a one. Oh, he got lucky on that one, and then three, five. So five plus three is eight damage. All right, so he boom, boom, body blows him and then takes a step. He takes a step back out of his range just to be funny. Like he's like, you see the grin, like it's like this evil mechanical grin now on his face. Uh, so he steps back and he gets a swipe. He gets a swipe off on him and does see here 2d4 damage. The one. Five, he does seven damage to him. So he does seven damage, and he just he sits, he looks at him and just sits there and grins. Uh, next time is on Diesel and then Jen. 
Oh, okay. Um, and don't miss, forget, uh, you all have spells too. I have what? You all have spells too. I don't think I can't use my spells and still rage, though, can I? Uh, you can, as long as you're not concentrating. Um, as long as it doesn't have a C next to it, you can. Okay. Um, let me. All right, hold on one sec. Let me find my spell book real quick. All right, so you're saying, like, for instance, I could do, uh, like, my burning hand spell. Yep, burning hands or earth tremor or thunder wave, any of them. Uh, let me go ahead and cast burning hands then. Burning hands? Mm -hmm. All right. Cast burning hands at first level. Uh, that is a deck save. It's a 15. Well, he's a 15 on the die, so he automatically misses it. Uh, but he gets half the damage. So go ahead and roll to 3d6. Excuse me. Uh, adds up to 14. 14. So he takes seven fire damage. All right, so he takes seven, and that's a 15 foot cone. So I also need, uh, depending on how you did it, did you catch Jay or Jim in that cone, or did you just, or did you pull like a final flash and just like body him from there? I mean, I figured I'm shifting right next to him, so I figured that I can angle at him. So yeah, so that is just like just hitting Brian. Final flash, him? gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All right. Jen, you're up. Um, oh, did I still got a bonus action? Oh, you, got it. you do have a bonus. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm going to direct that wildfire spirit to attack the werewolf. Okay, so he's going to teleport over? Um, um, I'm just going to have him do like a throw a fireball. Okay. So he's I want the werewolf to bite me. All right, so he pretty much is kind of like a Mario. You know, he has like a little ball of fire. And he just like, like yeah, just you know, baseball, just fucking just toss it right at his okay. head. Cool, cool. Give me a give me a roll. You get plus six to the roll. Okay. Which die? Uh this is a D20. <coughs> All right. Let's see if he hits. Yeah. It was a seven. Seven total. No, just uh, seven on the roll. Seven on the roll. Okay, so the roll, your roll should have it already built into it. Should it be something plus five. Oh, um, I just did the I did the custom one. Um, okay, so then seven plus uh, you add six to it. So that's what thirteen. 13. Mm -hmm. Actually, you hit him. So <laughs> yeah, he only had 12, 12 armor class. So you hit him with a 13. What's the damage looking like? Okay, so that's uh die six. Uh, here, yep. All right. Uh, that's uh three plus three. Three and three. Perfect. So six damage. Fire damage to the back. Oh, man. Mario stuff. All right, Jen, you're up. All right, what we're we looking at right now. Let's see. So we still got that raven alive, and we still got the yeah, raven. No, I think raven. the raven's dead. Raven got raven got trunks freezer. She he freezes. <laughs> he freezes the oh, raven. We got, oh, we got half the combo finished. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was ultra, rack. ultra, ultra combo. Right. <laughs> right, so, so yeah, it's only, it's only him left, and uh. It's, it's after, it'll be Jen, then the wolf, werewolf, and then Jay. All right, well, so there's just a werewolf left. Hmm. What do I want to do? Can I get this? the werewolf to bite me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, if you fail to save, you fail to save. But yeah. 
All right, let's keep this simple and just do the green flame blade. Okay, so you cast the blade over your over your blade. You cast the green flame over your blade, and you take a swing. Let's see here. So you do a, give me a regular uh, blade attack, like with your dagger. Okay, as so I go to dagger action, yep. action dagger. Ooh, plus five too. Okay, cool. So it hit the plus five, right? Yep, hit the plus five. All right, come on, computer. Ooh, I like that. Twenty. Twenty. All right. So it definitely hits. Give me the damage of the one d four plus two first. All right. How do I do that? Just click on the one d four plus two next to it. Oh, okay. Ooh, yep. piercing damage too. Ooh, boy. One. Plus two. All right, so three. Is it one plus two? Yeah, one plus two. Okay, so we got three, and then you also get an extra one d eight. So what? So I hit the um the plus five again. Uh, so no, you'll hit one d eight. Uh, you can actually go if you go to the uh dust the spell. You can click on the flame blade one there. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to hit that. That's a seven. All right. So total of 10 damage. And then you have a bonus action. You can do a unarmed strike if you want. All right, let's try to finish it. I'll do the unarmed strike. I'll, well, do, I'll, I'll go for it. Or you can do floor your blows if you want. Oh, uh, you can have a key point. Hit it, hit it with yeah. the all might. You know what? Let's go all might. All right, so I'll do fury of blows then. So that's the all plus right, five. So earn your last key point. Go ahead and roll that point five. The plus five there. They got uh, 12. Oh, I thought it hit the 15. Okay, 12. 12. That's still enough. That's still enough. Okay. And then give me the 1d4 plus two. All right. Three. Ooh, damn. Three? Oh. Yep. All right. Werewolf now. He's he's limping. He's ugh. You'll, you'll never get away with this. And he, he comes back to his human form. He's slowly starting to come back. And he tries to take off running. He hasn't changed fully yet. He takes off running. Full speed. 30. 60 feet away, like he's uh, uh, still in this full form, running, dipping out. Um, he was in combat with Jay first because it was the closest one. Actually, no, you went after the Raven. So the person he's closest to right now is actually Diesel. No, 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 Jay, uh, Jen, because you just finished swinging on him. Yep. So you get your first, you get a, you get a reactive opportunity. He's gonna try to get out the way. You can re, you can respond. Mm -hmm. Uh, and get a reaction. So go ahead, give me a d20 roll. On what? What am I hitting? Uh, give, me this? Dagger, give me a dagger attack. Dagger attack? Okay. Yeah, give me a dagger attack. I wish you did that levitation spell so he couldn't run. Oh, no. Oh, no. Seven again. I thought that was a one. Seven? No, nah, you missed <coughs> that one. You missed that one. Oh, so he, he takes off running. Do, 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 do. Uh, Jay, you can catch up to him if you want. Uh, he can move. Let's see here. He's got 30 feet, so he's 40 feet, so he's 80 feet away right now. You can only go 30 feet per round. You could do a total of 60, and you still wouldn't catch up, and you wouldn't be able to attack. So if you want, I mean, you you do have the crossbow and a longbow. You can let that. Say, let I gotta, that say, say. I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna go with the longbow. Okay, longbow. <laughs> Um, let me get back to it. Every time it close, I take that. Let's go long, long bow, rolling. Got a twenty-three. Whoa. Oh, nice. 23. tell me how you do this, sir. Because it don't matter what I you throw uh, me the damage just I, in case. I, but there's I no. Way. To, I don't want to. I low key just want to stop and interrogate him. So I just want to hit him in the leg to stop him from running. <coughs> I mean, 
<laughs> he's, he's gonna pass out basically. So when you when you kill someone, it's one of two ways you can do it. You can officially off them, or they will be incapacitated and pass out. Unless somebody they so they're they're in dying status. So someone would have to have the ability to bring them or heal them or bring them back. So you'd have to heal them if you wanted to do that. You can take them out, go up to them, heal them if you want to. Yeah, heal them. There. I know I can't. I, I I have a healing spell. Okay. All right. We 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 go for the throat because of the little buddy. Okay. <laughs> so you just gonna <laughs> let it fly? So he sits there. He's like he takes his time. He lines it up. Four damage. <laughs> Four damage. That literally was just yeah. enough to do. It. <laughs> Drops him. Looks like he looks like Thumper did when he got hit. <laughs> And his body just oh, it's the ground. So we are now out of combat. You all made it through. Y'all took everybody out. Go, uh, y'all go up to him. I'm assuming. Yeah. You said you were interrogate him. Mm -hmm. All right. So are you just gonna just gonna cure him? You gonna heal him? Yeah. No, don't heal him. Uh, well, let's. Oh, um, my, my. Wait no, 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 yeah, wait. He's gonna run away. He's gonna run away. No, don't you? Let's tie him up. We have do we, any of us have any rope? We gotta bound him for... Do you all any of you have mm -hmm. rope in your equipment? Let me check. Mm -hmm. Daggers, spell book. Uh go in inventory. Then... I got rope. I got rope. Rope. Okay. So you all you tie him up. <coughs> And then uh, I'm assuming you do a spell on him. You hit that spell. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll hit that spell. Cure wound. Uh, do you need to know how much the heals are for? Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. <coughs> uh, five altogether. Cool, five. Just enough to bring him. Bring him up. He's like, oh, oh. and at this point in time, he's human. Because when he when they when they die, basically they come back to normal shape. So he comes back and he's oh 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 oh, 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 oh. he's okay. What and he's looking around? Oh, you all. Well, what do you want? <clears throat> and that's where we're gonna stop for tonight. Right. <laughs> that's where we're gonna I mean, stop for tonight. Been gone. I just he ain't saying nothing about. <laughs> don't so, leave the group. <laughs> don't lead a group. That is the goal. Like Joe said, don't lead a group. You're not split the party. But you guys did uh get that part taken care of. You got you got that. Um with that, you all you're actually on the border of a level up, actually. So Woo! 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 All right. yeah, the clutch. Um, but yeah, werewolf. <laughs> put that work on that werewolf. <laughs> yeah, y'all did. Y'all put in some work on that one. Y'all put in some work. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we're good. So we will uh, we'll reconvene again in about a month. We, we'll hit this at the end of the month. We'll try to do that at the end of every month, uh, and then keep rolling from there. Um, appreciate y'all sticking through. Hope you enjoyed the night. I know we did. Uh, and we will catch up with y'all later. Next week will be the regular podcast. Get some updates in, get some gaming done. Call it a day. Keep an eye out on everybody's uh, socials and stuff. So we can try to get, get y'all up and going. Get but ready for the Super Bowl. Oh. Wow, he was uh, Super Bowl. Yeah. We may have a Super Bowl stream. We may. I think we may do Ooh, that. That's not a bad idea. Depending on, everybody, depending on what everybody's up to, we may do a Super Bowl stream. Just kind of watch it. We may watch it in, I don't know. I'll have to see if we can find it. We may watch it in Discord. Uh, I don't think we can. Watch it. We can work the commercials or something. <laughs> well, we can do a we can do a, a stream about just the commercials. How about that? How about we do a we do that on the, on the podcast after Super Bowl? Just do a Super Bowl commercial. Right. It's the um, the Chiefs versus the Eagles. Chiefs oh, versus the Eagles. Oh boy, that's pretty big. Oh, Andy Reid versus the Eagles. The game was close. It was 20 to 23. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm.
So yeah, there y'all go. Ooh, so we'll Eddie catch up with later. Eagles. That's gonna be a good y'all one. Y'all have a great one, and we out. Yes. Peace.